Dan Bilek. I'm one of your four co-hosts along with Andrew DeWitt. Oh, Wooga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a dumbass. <laughs> I liked it. Along with... Hey, everybody, it's Ryan O'Neill, a boy yo 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 And finally, this is the Danish, and I'm sponsored by Kayak.com. <laughs> that's, that's not true. <laughs> hey, before, <laughs> like, that's not true. I'm selling sponsorship. What if he now? got a sponsor <laughs> and he didn't tell you about uh, it? On my intro. <laughs> well, hold on a second. And real quick, uh, just a shout out, real quick. Hey, Pete. <laughs> uh, idiots. I, uh, can wait, I, can quick, I bring, a, bring up a quick point? Real quick. Uh, last episode, we mentioned we have a new iTunes channel, so, so subscribe to Boner City on iTunes. And channel. write a review. A five-star review and a text and a text review of us, and uh, send us an email at info at dorksplosion.com. If you do that, we will send you some free uh, Boner City. Dan gave all our Boner, reviews Boner away stickers. to another podcast, now, so we have channel. to get all brand Shut, new ones. Yes. Our, we wiped the slate clean, so we got to start our own now, RSS feed. Now, the Boner City stickers to. are cool, though. Like They're not like the ones remember were you guys did you guys get this warning in elementary school to beware of stickers that are like LSD on the back of them? Or was <laughs> oh, that just my no, 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 like no. there was a scratch and stick, and it was also those temporary tattoos. Yeah. Who's wasting LSD by putting it on the back of stickers well, and handing it yeah, out? Why for are they free? shoving like it into stats- cylinders of bananka? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bananka. It's bananka. It's, it's pronounced bananka. It's bananka. <laughs> Asshole. Bananka. How did you go thousands of miles away and you both have the same? He's pronunciation. doing it to fuck no, with the It's bananka. It is bananka. It is. No. If O'Neill is fucking with me on this, I'm gonna be real. So oh, yeah. a piece of shit. I'm, I'm with you, dude. Sad. Look at me. Look no, at me that, in the eyes, DeWitt. That, that was the no, thing. They, they, eyes of a real. liar. They said to be That's wary real. of it? it's real. Cracker yeah. Jack tattoos. Yeah, I, I got like a, I got a but paper. But that was in back it. in the day when everybody like Dungeons and Dragons was. I'd be was licking the shit worship, out of everything. And if you played of that. Ozzy Osbourne backward, you'd kill your no, parents. No, but and dude, shit. it was like, like when you were in elementary. That's true. It was like when you were in elementary true. school. It's not. You're like, I want LSD right now. It's like, no, no, I, yeah, no, that's true. No child. Yeah, that's is, one of the things about Dare that they fucked up. Is they're teaching kindergartners, hey, don't do crack. Like any kindergartners are like, like jumping <laughs> off of their fucking get, seats to do getting crack. Getting too young, man. Also, our Dare officer told us not to play Dungeons. And dragons, <laughs> you, and you were dead. And I went, what? I went, I like, like, I was I like, went crazy. Now. I went crazy. How old dude, are you? I'm gonna shoot it's in fourth in grade. Yes, like, before. you can't tell me what to do. No, it, was in, it was in fifth grade. Our teacher was Mr. Fisher, and he goes, and someone goes, like, he's talking about how dangerous cocaine is, and then some girl <laughs> raised her hand, and she goes, what about Dungeons and Dragons? I heard that's real dangerous. Was he too. also a uh, dare to keep kids from being nerds? <laughs> Officer? <laughs> that made me more on board. He, got, he looks Dare around. kids to bully nerds? He, he might have like, just been trying to help you out by like, hey, look, dude, you're not going to get laid if you're playing Dungeons and Dragons. No, and he, he had a point. He, well, he, yeah. was, he was a forward thinker. <laughs> he was a visionary. He knew what Dungeons and Dragons was going to lead to into the future. Well, I, you know, I take issue When did issue you get into hey, Let's get off of, uh, you mentioned the stickers, Danish. Uh, the, the drawing ones, uh, Andrew drew those. Andrew the stickers, so we have two different Boner City stickers. Wait, what did you say he did to him? He drew the... He drew, no, he, he drawered him. He drawered him. <laughs> You're I a pretty d- good drawer. I, do, <laughs> good I drawer. do enjoy making drawings. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you can you can see the stickers and his shirts at shopdoorexplosion.com. That's the store, shopdoorexplosion.com. But yeah, the sticker, the red Does ones, glow? Andrew drew. And then the other ones are a picture of the actual truck, but both uh, the Boner City stickers are awesome. Leave us a review on iTunes and uh, we'll and email us and we'll send I can't you wait till we or make buy some. millions of dollars and then the guy that owns this monster truck comes back and takes like 90% of that's it. Why well, that's, a, why that's why we why have why a, drawing. a drawing. That's why our t-shirt's oh. a drawing. That's why the stickers are drawing. Ass yeah, face. I'm going to challenge our listeners out there. P- <laughs> put the stickers on cool stuff, like on your girlfriend's ass or a hobo pussy. Or over her <laughs> nipples. The nipples that's in the picture in. Or, or over, over the, the pussy. pussy. Yeah. Okay, guys. Oh! <laughs> Yo, guys. <laughs> The boys are back. The uh, boys are back. What's weird is that oh, you guys Jesus are reading Christ. off the same teleprompter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, also, this is uh, we had a website before. It was called a uh, really a Tumblr site called LookHowBadIParked.com, where people would submit pictures of people parked like assholes. This is a great and idea. And we put it on the web. So good. we brought that back. Uh, Dork Explosion is sponsoring that now, and we actually bought. We made stickers that are like four, like two by five inches wide, and it says, "See this asshole shitting parking job online at LookHowBadIParked.com." We'll throw in a couple of those too, and you can take them. If you see someone park shitty, put the sticker on the car. Take a picture sent to the website and it's yeah. um, you know what's good uh in my neighborhood on the red curb somebody uh spray painted douche parking and like kind of official <laughs> font yeah. on like the red area of the curb. <laughs> I've seen that, dude. it's pretty good it's but all I, over hollywood which reminds yeah. me as well i hate people who fucking 
do like stop on the stop signs, like stop something. I saw a stop childhood obesity. <laughs> Like, come oh, on, dude. They have a stop sign yeah. and then they say, like, stop gun violence or it's something like, stupid. It's like, come on, man. Like, I'm just trying to come to a stop. I don't want a fucking political message on my stop sign. You know what? There's a good guy that's going around who's spraying gray over the red and parking there. Have you seen Have you seen any of the ones where it's, like, really gray? Where oh, you're like, he's spraying, I'm like, not cement. sure if I should he's park there. He's spraying cement-colored paint no, on pa- the cement to cover up the red curve? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You haven't seen that? That guy's a good guy. There's a lot of yeah. real like, <laughs> a like, There's a real fucking hero. No, no, out there, that's man. awesome because his name's Ryan. I mean, <laughs> but it looks uh, Ryan. It, it's very convincing. I've Bill. parked in them, and it adds, <laughs> how it adds that parking ticket? spaces. Did you, did you spray paint no, that I didn't. I mean, how can you? You could say, it, look at this. It's pretty. It blends <laughs> in pretty well. I want to challenge. If you're gonna put something on a stop, like do like a stop fucking fat chicks or something good, something funny or something worth it. Why would you do that? Fat girls need love too, bro. Andrew, don't get off. Everyone's gonna think. Get off your soapbox, Andrew. You're going to break it. Everyone's going to think, like, my wife is fat, but she's not fat. No, she's Andrew's wife is beautiful. very pretty and thin. And He's like, this has been on his mind for a while. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> been he, you're like, when can I plug this in here? <laughs> At what point in the show? At the top fit? of the show, you want to plug that your wife's hot, I guess. You dated a frog killer, and you talked about it in the last podcast. <laughs> yeah, last podcast. You're feeling yeah. guilty feeling about guilty. it. And that chick was a monster. Not only that, your wife is a fucking we looked angel. at pictures of her that it pulled up, and, and man. She looks terrible, right? Oh, man. She looks like she's moved on. Gone from frogs to like killing kittens and stuff, <laughs> like shoving their heads in her yeah, asshole like, and crushing them. Fucking, <laughs> her eye, one eye is squinting like she has to murder. You know, like, like she's yeah. got like like bell palsy of hate in her fucking. God, eyes. I wish we could tell everyone her occupation. She looks like, hilarious. She looks like Doctor Evil's daughter. <laughs> <laughs> she does. She does. You know what? It's pa- not bald though. But as pale as she was, I can only imagine how that brown asshole just stuck out from that. It was very big. It was pale big, body. Dude. Can I bring up some big. Boner City oh, business as the mayor? Yep, real quick. Live sh- comment? Shout out, shout out to Sam Young and Logan, who both, we just put up our last episode on Facebook. They just liked it, and they left them. Um, Sam said, keep them coming. And Logan said he was walking across campus listening to you guys yesterday, wiping tears out of my eyes and laughing like a maniac. Probably someone didn't call the cops. He was crying. Uh, yeah, he was <laughs> crying at one of us. Spread it to your other fellow college. Yeah, 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 if you like the show, share it with your friends. We need more listeners. And if you go Chris? to Occidental College, I live two blocks from there. Did the guy, <laughs> did the guy Chris spell coming with a U, classic style? No, he uh, spelled it like a human being. He's a classy he's not, guy. He's not an idiot. We do have some classy listeners. Classy Chris. I don't. Yeah. Do it smelling his fingers just now? Are you <laughs> fingering somebody? <laughs> no. He wants to see if he can smell smell that chick's man <laughs> musk on it. And also, yeah, no, wait, one lesson. We do have shirts for sale. Matthew Wallace. Big shout out. Matthew, Matthew Wallace just bought a large Boner City shirt. That yeah. Is mail. It would probably. Be, I am probably Matthew Wallace. It'll be in the mail before he. Watch even, your <laughs> pussy intake. It'll be in the mail. Triple. Be, it'll be in the mail before this episode. He can shoot airs, fireballs Matthew. from his eyes oh. and thunderbolts from his arse. Hey, wait. Can, Wait, uh, stop. So, hey, Matthew, send us a picture of you wearing your shirt when you get it to info at dorksplosion.com. Anybody else that has a Boner City shirt or sticker, send us some pictures. How about this? Info, Wait. Shut up at info at dorksplosion.com. And keep those you pussy will get pics talk. coming to oh, yeah. O'Neal the and Ass And shifting kicker. gears, if you have hot pussy pics, send them to O'Neal the Ass Kicker at yahoo.com. Ryan, could you spell That's that for us? That's O-N-E-I-L-L, the ass kicker. Wait, oh, wait hold on. Can oh, DeWitt Jesus. put a magical spell on his T-shirt before you send it out? Do you? What? That's Would you do that? To get pussy and take that? up. Can, can you, you do can that? Can you do that without candles or putting cum on it or anything? Where did you get that part, Dan? Can yeah. you touch it? Can what? you just touch the shirt and yeah. impose? So, Is there hey, something Matthew, you can do we're, to it? We're, I'm going to ship your shirt what out What do you tonight. want me to do? Andrew's going to put a positivity spell on it. Uh, we to want a, put, a pussy intake uh, upper. Positivity and spell will work. No, we'll do, Matthew, we'll do a positivity spell. spell. Uh, Ryan will rub it on his uh, boot that he's still wearing, his uh, his cast boot. <laughs> Can I put a sticker on that? Danish. I don't know. Don't I'll know. take it into the Y sauna and get some good. Never mind. It'll shrink. Matthew, order an XL because it's going to shrink down to a large enough. <laughs> nah, and then you'll use it to, you use it to wipe Never a load off he of will put Jewish girl's titties. <laughs> I'll tell you what. We're going to put the positivity. We'll throw some extra stickers in there. We'll throw some extra stickers in there. Wait. Why don't you let the four of us none borrow of, a shirt? None of these assholes will be touching the thing you just paid money for. Another, another point of interest, if you get a Boner City shirt and you have a girlfriend, I don't care what she looks like, <laughs> you're going to send it to O'Neal the ass kicker, have her wear it as like, you know, the going to bed shirt, yeah, but, but with, no, with panties no panties on. No panties on. And then on. No, and crop her face out and send it to O'Neal. And, and let her get a little hobo pussy on there and then write a clip, my girlfriend wearing Boner City t-shirt with hobo pussy. And you can put like a half-used cigar in the lips like it's a hobo <laughs> smoking a cigar. You're an idiot. 
Oh, speaking of uh, multimedia extravaganza, <laughs> on the show notes for the show found at BonerCityUSA.com, there will be a short 40-second video. Today, I felt very bad. Andrew had a migraine earlier today. Oh, oh I forgot so about that. Andrew. Well, you like feeling better now, wait, buddy? Wait, it gets better. He has a chair massager that's a heated chair massager <laughs> that he puts <laughs> under his ass. Yep. Oh. He I got it all fours and he laid here. it down flat and put it over his eyes and was mashing his face <laughs> oh my into God. the fucking chair massager. And then I said, oh, I, said awesome. I said, why don't you sit in... No, take, okay, stop it. <laughs> that sounds <laughs> Awesome. All right, stop. It sounds, it. Like a, it sounds like a vibrator of like Andrew, a giant. <laughs> Long story short, said, "Hey, why are you on the ground shoving that thing that goes in your ass in your face? Why don't you Why don't you sit in the chair and hold it in your face?" So there's a video of Andrew holding his butt. Seems like that would hurt a migraine face. more. The video will be on. Uh, but when his, USA, his migraine uh, was uh, fine after he had uh, wings. No, yeah, we that didn't hot wings help my wings. Up. Wings I is mean, your Tylenol. Wings didn't help. You know what that reminds <laughs> me of? Wings is a wind beneath Andrew's wings. <laughs> <laughs> it's redundant, but true. You know what uh, that reminds me of is I have two phones. I have a landline at my house. Oh, I, I rock it like I'm fucking in Who inspired you to get that landline? Ryan O'Neill convinced Safety me. Safety officer Ryan O'Neill in case the apocalypse get, No, he said I would get cancer with, from a cell phone, so now I never use it. <laughs> Thanks, O'Neal. Brian, didn't you break your fucking ankle on like a recreational family trip? Like that's what's ago? weird about O'Neal is that he fears he he wants death by like jumping out he of a puts helicopter, in harm's way every other way. But that's how he wants banal. it. But he's he fears like chemicals that come from he aluminum wants, cans. He wants to be ripped and, apart by like great white sharks. Yeah, not, like, I don't want getting, BPA like, to take me down. He wants to die in an O'Neal blaze of glory, yeah. driving backwards on a <laughs> snowmobile <laughs> down the highway in Tibet by being chased by like the DEA. I yeah. just go off that cliff under my own rules. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, you're your own Thelma and Louise. <laughs> <laughs> Are you fucking a chick at knife point, but she's cool with it? Like she's agreed to it on the snowmobile? Yeah. yeah, of course. From behind? Yeah. <laughs> no condom either. I do the knife, uh, do the kitchen knife a lot now. <laughs> a but now, do you? Wait, I do, what? I do a kitchen knife a oh, lot. Kitchen knife, Wait, yeah, you can't kill somebody. By the way, anyone listening to this, especially no, under 21, like 18, fucking... do not do anything Ryan is about to describe. So oh, no, yeah, what are you fucking doing? But no, tell, your, tell your parents. We have to say A lot that. of times, yeah. like, like when it. my girlfriend's doing the dishes, and I come up behind her, and I put my hand around her waist, and I kind of push up against her butt, and then I take... <laughs> she has like a magnetic so strip man. that has these <laughs> giant woman again play as as these giant like <laughs> these giant knives do, 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 do. and then I, I put it to her throat and then she gets a little like no just relax trust me trust me but then oh. she doesn't have a curtain and there's a lot of people that can look in the My kitchen God, so Lynn. well you're not I'm kind of worried now your girlfriend I'm worried that people are gonna call the cops eventually why are you putting like, what what do you get out of that I think she likes girl. it what do you get out of that you know it's a real turn on a great story can I talk what do you get out of that though I'm serious Wait, wait, let's what see what thrill? He is. What? No, no. I want to let's delve into this. No, your girlfriend's a good-looking chick. She probably lets you do whatever the fuck you want. She's she, not afraid I know, of but it's fun. It's but like exciting. That, that sounds you can exciting. You're not even man. fucking her at that point. That you can <laughs> stab her. Wait, is, no, you can no, stab her. Exciting. You can accidentally stab no. her while she does the is dishes. A kitchen, is a kitchen knife like a butcher knife, or is it like, like a, a knife you knife. butter your toast with? No, no, no. Not like like a, a steak, knife. like a long knife, like like like, an, like a twelve like inch yeah. butcher knife. So say yeah. you or her sneeze, like you could kill. Oh yeah, that happens all the time. I'm gonna sneeze and fucking dude, I'm gonna throw. What if her neighbor across the way is a cop and he shoots you? That's what I'm worried about. But that's awesome. That's what we do it out in the window. You are fucking so stupid. So you do it where people can see. Well, I didn't used to, but now I have been. Just because <laughs> it's in the kitchen and the knife's there and... I did, you know, you don't realize that other people are looking in on you. Look, I can't judge you because I do fuck? all kinds of weird shit too, man. It's not like she's like not what? like, oh my God, don't do it. She's like, oh my God. Don't my do wife it. likes to. <laughs> no, I think she's like, oh my God. Oh, you're not idiot. there, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you talking let, about? Let Andrew the Vantage Cock come over and watch. Wait, what were you going to say, yeah, Jeff? Jeff had another I, thing. I was going to suggest a story, but I don't know if you want it out there. Why don't you go ahead and tell me what it some kind key, of like some a... Some keywords. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, it, it, what sparked it in my mind was... That's what this show is great because we don't go over... We kind of... Wait, what do you want to talk about? And we just loose, go in. <laughs> loose outline. What sparked it in my mind was when you said people from the outside looking in, and it was when you lived in that other house, and some neighbors would see you and a past girlfriend, and there was some issue with maybe... Uh, their perception of her age. Your neighbors thought you were fucking. Oh! <laughs> oh! 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 yeah! Oh! So I was dating. Oh, right, look at so his face. I didn't know. If oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. So I was dating this girl. <laughs> 
<laughs> she was like I like, 23. I like, I like how I'm like O'Neill's <laughs> historian <laughs> and memory. <laughs> and then, I tell him all and this. And then you have to play like I password. It's, it. it's like I like go, it. I need to have my memory say the word, refreshed. but you have to say everything. But like twenty five thousand like, dollar pyramid. pyramid. <laughs> I'm, I'm Betty White. I'm thinking this. Oh, I got it. So I uh, I dated a girl who was uh, significantly young, like ten years. She's 23, like twenty three. And you look like a thirty eight year old child no, molester. But she, no, but she looks. But she's she, 23 and looks she about looked young. 15. It's kind of creepy. Yeah. yeah. And so um, I was living in a house in Eagle Rock in like a neighborhood with like families all over. And <laughs> in the morning, I would, <laughs> she would come. You could do there. his face. <laughs> Holy shit. And she was like. She looks legit 15. And she like, lo- I'm not kidding. And she yeah. was like five foot also. And she would wear like children type clothes. <laughs> like Your animals. Clothes. <laughs> So, so like a door of the, the Explorer backpack. <laughs> she would ride her she would big ride a, wheel. Ride a razor scooter up and down the street. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, she's playing always, jump rope out front, uh, chewing gum. Scotch. She's just chewing gum. Yeah, yeah. when he season. would drive her in the neighborhood, she sat in the back seat <laughs> in a car seat <laughs> with no one in front, watching The Lion King on a DVD player. <laughs> <laughs> in the so in the morning, like sometimes she would have to leave early, so I would walk her out to the driveway, <laughs> and my neighbors, <laughs> my neighbors would be like leaving for work or they'd be going to school and stuff like that, some kids in college an and they would all just turn and stare at me and I would like <laughs> I would have her like I would be on the bottom I would be at uh, uh, you know the bottom of the stairs and she would be like a couple up so that she would be like able and then we'd kind of like make out and then I'd send her <laughs> to they're, they're looking online like Chris <laughs> and and like, you go to the Amber website that shows you a child O'Neill's just Red giving them the <laughs> finger the whole time well, pointing at the boner in his, in his fucking uh, pajama pants the boner sticking out yeah he's like uh, ace that Spanish test baby. <laughs> and so yeah then she, I would kiss her nothing, and then baby. she would walk down and she would you know then she would go to her car, which has like a booster seat on it, just to see out. So she was like, she looked like a child, and she could barely drive. And it's so it looked a student like she was like the sixteen top. or something. Yeah. So I'd give her like a long kiss, and the neighbors were always staring. And I know in their mind they go, "Do we say do what? Do we call the cops? Like, what's our didn't next? You, yeah. Didn't you say Action they gave here. you like open cold shoulders? Oh yeah, Wait, for, <laughs> a, for a long <laughs> time. Like a cup of sugar. They were like, fine. Get out of here, they were fine until this chick started coming around, and then it was like, oh my god. <laughs> I, Did I, you take her door to door with her ID and be like, "Look, this bitch is like twenty three. Like, I may, no, I would I make should've. jokes that O'Neill embraced it because he is into this thing of danger, and he'd be like, "You go out there and you draw that hopscotch on that driveway. <laughs> <laughs> you play it. I want them to see it." <laughs> but she did have a, she did have like a you little those Girl Scout cookies. She did have like a little kid's backpack, like you know, chicks wear like. Little kids backpacks. Yeah, like, do you mean that? little kids wear them? <laughs> you call no, them and so she would wear that shit sometimes. Well, you fucked her? <laughs> Gross. Were you fucking a big kiss, uh, uh, a big sister doll? <laughs> kid sister yeah, my, buddy, my buddy and me or something. <laughs> but I'll tell you what. You take those clothes off, and that body was all woman. Big, Whoa, nice, You exactly You trying to rival the girl that I shouted on last week? On last Can you guys podcast? stop doing a shout out I'll show girlfriend's you. tits on every show? I'll show you. Can you show me, you, you show no me your tits? I'll show you my tits. Yeah, if there's, if there's, yeah, can you guys? Yeah. Can we hire Michael Buffer if for you're, a, If you're a fan, uh, email O'Neill the ass kicker at yahoo.com. Maybe he'll share, some, maybe he'll trade some pics with I you. I can't because she's kind of known, so. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let's no, get ready but, for Beef Cannon. <laughs> yeah, some uh, she's s- somewhat known. Oh, so, FYI, dude. only send like uh, like adult pictures to O'Neill. Yeah, no, what the yeah. fuck? Are you crazy? <laughs> what are you talking? No, like, every, hey, if you're a middle school teacher, yeah, if you want to be phone. arrested, go ahead and send me <laughs> underage <laughs> pictures, and I'll send them to the FBI. Oh, I, everyone, everyone, oh the flying V, the vigilante also, over here. Jesus. Also, let's also be clear that if you send any pictures with knives and sex in them, that it all has to be consensual. Yeah, and so it has to be hot chicks. You got to scan a release form and send it. Cole, the guy who sends all the great what's photos, up, he knows what's up. He sends like nice looking girls in their mid twenties. One was a and fake picture. Tell. I could tell, but Sorry. she had great tits. Sorry, Cole. Way. She reminded me of an ex girlfriend's too. Hey, oh. Pete. <laughs> <laughs> I want. Can I bring up some Boner City business? May yes. not be the best yeah. or funniest topic, oh, but Jesus. I think we need a theme song for the show. I vote for Thunder uh. Uh, uh, Thunderbusters. <laughs> you want an original? Up. Jeff no, wants an original we need score. An original that song. is original ish. No, yeah. I, I just trying to pick one a cool song. You to want like an with, like, official... different genres every week? We do. Who's gonna write it, idiot? Uh, so maybe we'll some of our fans. Maybe or, we I don't could know. write it. We maybe could get in the musical. studio and be like, Dan eats meals off wetsuits. Andrew eats that asshole. O'Neill. 
Hey, hey, see, maybe that was a pedophile dude, vandal. What if that kid that was walking across campus is Danish in music school? school. Well, somebody who listens to this show knows about music. Yeah, we, we, we need what a theme song. Why would you want to have like the like the soaring of an eagle, Bona City, USA? <laughs> that would be cool. Yeah, like a retro, retro super, like, no, like a like a super, like a ballad. No, like a patriotic country song. Yeah, like yeah. Those, yeah. I'm driving trucks. Yeah, that'd be good. So, well, like, are it, you ready for some football? Boom, the city countdown. Yeah. Okay, if you're a fan <laughs> that knows about music, email us at info. At least I live in right. Boner City, okay. where all the trim <laughs> is free. <laughs> okay. That's not bad. Anyway, if you're a fan, email. That's not bad. I like the email, lyrics. Uh, email us at info at dorksplosion.com. <laughs> we'll see, this, we'll like, see what Shut we can. the fuck up. Yeah. So I can give them the email address. So that if you have, a, if you're begging people to do something, and then what are they going to do? Write it in a fucking tight. <laughs> so pissed so Like again. put it on a pigeon and send it's it so to you, fucking again. asshole. You can only last two episodes, and at the end of the second episode, you're always you're so tired of dude. dealing with us. It's because it's been eight hours since he's eaten off of a wetsuit. <laughs> <laughs> well, your wigs weren't served on a wetsuit? No, they weren't. Oh, he didn't call ahead. Oh, old Danny Warbucks over here wouldn't <laughs> uh, spring for a wetsuit for us. I know a, a dude from my town is in the band, but I've lost his contact. <laughs> you know what? He has a good al- he has That a good guy is good. Out, Hey, uh, O'Neill worked for him, ironically, yeah. out here. When I was driving people for The Apprentice <laughs> in L.A. Was a, <laughs> was a van years driver. ago. <laughs> um, we, we should get to the, the where your anger comes from. Because you, you called me. You guys are hold so on. fucking no, aggravated. In general, though, you have Dad, some anger. You problem. called me last night. And you screamed at me for 15 <laughs> minutes on the phone. Oh, and I was agreeing with you, and you kept because yelling I had at me. I already talked to him when I was at the fucking DMV yesterday, which is a pain in the ass. The DMV, <laughs> by the way, is like everyone there is like fucking has like fourth world AIDS. Everyone's like all gooey and coughing. Did and you make an, an appointment? It didn't even matter because the window for the appointment window was just as short. So I was just once you got a number, you got a number. I, I, got, once a, I made, got a number immediately. I once made an appointment and I got to walk in front of the whole line, and this guy started screaming at me. This Russian guy, yeah, because it's all degenerate. I held up my ticket. And I was like. I made the appointment. It's all Russian <laughs> <Russia's laughs> and, and really, like, well, it's like everyone there seems like they're a, a prostitute from all over the world that moved to Hollywood and their dreams just died. So Why wouldn't you make an appointment? TV. It's crazy. Anyway, you know, let, let me tell you, you, know, you guys, hold on. you guys, this web, this this fucking podcast is perfect gotta, because we talk about pump. all kinds of crazy shit, and it can go wherever it is, and it's fine. But when we're talking about other things like, like video projects or animation projects, I'm like, yeah. let's make something we could sell. And you're like, yeah, it's called Pussy Diarrhea. I did not say anything. We're gonna pitch it to the Cartoon Network. You're gonna fucking love it. Dan, then you go pitch a thing let that me has give you... you jizzing on our friend's <laughs> face, like, yeah, it was too edgy. They didn't buy it. His thing is like, oh, we knew we they knew were they gonna, they gonna buy it. Gonna buy it. Why the other... fuck would you pitch it? Why would you waste the time <laughs> because to they, pitch something you didn't buy? They would, they would be offended if we didn't show it to them. Uh, now listen, let me give you so a they snippet. Can check about, hey, they're let retards. me give the Boner City <laughs> uh, an uninterrupted snippet <laughs> of the conversation we had last okay. night. So last night, Dan goes, look, they have money to spend. Let's get or Dan goes, look. They have, a, they have a lot of money to spend. I go, yeah, let's get that money. And Dan goes, I don't give a fuck about the money. <laughs> fuck you. I want to get something made. <laughs> yeah, because you guys, I if, go, I tell you okay. if I tell you something's a $1,000, <laughs> you have the money spent before you even come up with the idea, and that drives me fucking nuts. I made Dan <laughs> mad at lunch today at Wings about comedy ideas. Because he because you added a layer of romance to something. I said there needs He's to so be really a layer He's of so romance so to don't an you, idea about beach cops. Don't you see, fuck you, man. Don't you see that every, <laughs> all these things? Stories of your anger and comedy. And you, because you all do it on purpose. Because once you get my buttons, <laughs> no, no, you we start don't do it on on. But sometimes, Dad, you, you'll say something and we'll totally agree. And you'll be like, fuck you, you piece of shit. <laughs> fuck you, it's not about that. That's what you'll I get, say. Specifically with you, with uh, Danish and Ryan, I get mad at you guys because you guys are fucking super smart and super fucking funny. And we're working and towards And no, you fucking work against yourselves. How do so we work against we By pitching something that can't be sold and then acting surprised. That's Wait, did you think it was funny? I thought it was I, so it's, funny. It's funny. In his exact words, are, you could never sell the thing you guys but made. But we made something great. And that's really it all was, that matters. It was actually, you know what? It's super It was funny. beautiful. Can we post a link up to it Here's yet? what we Not might yet. do. Put it online? Not yet. We, Why? We, that's, we're going to take it around to some other places. Let me just tell everybody listening. Or we might start a kick, wait. Kickstarter. It's worth the uh, wait because. You're not, you, won't, you don't even know how the fucking internet works. You will <laughs> never, ever, 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 <laughs> ever, <laughs> ever, <laughs> ever, <laughs> ever, <laughs> ever, <laughs> ever, and watch ever me agree start with a them. Kickstarter. You're right, Dan. I don't know how the internet sure. works. Here's, here's, <laughs> our, yell. here's our philosophy on that okay. video. Wait, let me, can I stop? Ryan and Jeff shot like a three minute live. 
live action three minute. No, I didn't say porno. Like a pilot, <laughs> like a three minute web series pilot. <laughs> that's just mind. way too fucking edgy that you could yeah. never. We sell, it's the one the that web. we talked yeah. about. Even, it's funny as shit, but it, even for the web. It's so like, here's here's our philosophy on that, okay. and just in general, we we made Daddy Knows Best, which is it's on the edgier side, but it's it's funny though. It's funny, but it, it's all dialogue. And though. it there's has no, Steve Renazzi. No gross shit in it. No, and then and then with this thing, hand job. And we weren't in that as act. But, Ryan was in it for a brief second. He yeah. got slapped in the face by Steve Renazzisi. What's up, Steve, if you're listening? Yeah. yeah. Not. <laughs> Steve, <laughs> no, hey, Pete. he's not. He's on the league. You think he's listening to this fucking well, podcast? So then he's we talked to our friend Pete. <laughs> he's raising his kids. Pete Lazarus, who we give shout outs to, yeah. who's the director, and he edits. Uh, oh, he's great, What's man. up, Pete? Oh, yeah, Andrew loved the title sequence. He fucking well, I it. watched Tell Pete. Times, Tell Pete dude. right now yeah, to his face. Hey, Pete, that <laughs> great <laughs> job with the title sequence. The music was great, too. In fact, I looked up the guys who did it. And I listen to all their shit. Man. We gotta accelerate this because nobody knows yeah, the video we just at all. Yeah, a podcast for one guy. All right, here, here's oh, what I want to say. I, let me say so, one yeah. thing real yeah, quick, yeah. and this is to Pete. Yeah. The the reason <laughs> the, the, the thing we all have in common that we do to make Dan mad on purpose is that we start a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> no, or, we, or we answer the phone. We answer the phone when he calls, and he's and immediately gonna just, yell at you. I just want you guys to succeed and make money. You know, give you Give them, give them our, philosophy. our philosophy. Our philosophy. Our philosophy behind that specific video was: mm -hmm. sometimes you just got to swing for the fences. There's so much out there that's like the exact same, and we we knew it was edgy. We knew when we knew like, but we've never acted but you didn't before. Even put it online though. But but we haven't even taken it all the way out there yet. And we're like, someone may take a chance with this, or if they don't, they don't. But at the end of the day, we made okay. something. We got it made. It looks good. It looks really good. It's like it's, it's well. Proof it's that well we can shot. act. No, it's which no, we've never okay, done before. That, I don't know if it's that. It's, but it's proof of concept. We're not great <laughs> actors. It's, but no, we're, no, we're no, in no it. I'm just fucking with you. It looks good. It's proof of concept that like exactly. you guys can put a budget together yeah. and shoot a thing. My point being, all is, is not lost. To to the people that you pitched it to in a million years, you know, would never buy it. Could never could never buy something like that so that's what pisses me off but we had Why to show it to him out of respect then you didn't pitch it to him but you also it to too him. if we showed it to him. if you hear like a louis ck interview there's one where he mentions these like crazy movie ideas that he would have for years and these were like outright what was one like a what was it it was something about uh something happens to someone and then they have to oh uh some lady kills a guy and her punishment the court sentenced her that she has to have a beard. So she has like surgically implanted <laughs> hair follicles and she has to keep the beard for 10 years, which is crazy. And it, like, he knew it was crazy, but sometimes you just got to get that crazy. No, out there. I know. We you know what sells so, and what doesn't so sell. Fucking then sell help, like sell shit so we can just No, keep and we know it. that. We know that. And I know what sells and it's stories about eating that butt. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. And Dad's going to get pissed no. about that. <laughs> That's what you boys get. Dad, why, my Dad, boys why do you get so frustrated and mad at because us. Because you guys just fucking, if you just tone things down an inch, you'd be so much better off. But we can't, we can only be ourselves. You can be, no, that's like Andrew. No, but we you don't be, have to do money shots. You There's can be a little, fucking yeah, grown yeah. up. You we can know be a, a grown up. Like I'll me? yell at Andrew because sometimes I'll be like, just take it down. You'll be like completely defeated by something. I'm like, just be a grown up and don't be fucking that's so devastated. That's because we're working on something together and you go, do you have any ideas for this? And I give you an idea and you go, that's stupid. Shut up. <laughs> I don't, I don't. That's not true. That's not true. After this, no, after this podcast is over, we're going to pitch you 13 ideas. And Jeff goes, how bad is he going to yell at us after each of these ideas? <laughs> no, I just, I like you guys. But that, that's why the, I like this podcast. So that, like, you guys can, can do all the filthy stuff you want. I don't fucking care. <laughs> what, we're, okay. not, we're not even nearly as filthy as like Kevin Smith's fucking podcast you need some, either. You oh. need to listen to Guns N' Roses and just get that patience. Okay. <laughs> but let me ask you this. Why would we agree with you? Do you continue to yell at us? <laughs> because with, with Danish, it's just frustration with the situation with you. I don't trust you. I always think you're lying. <laughs> and we have friends, fellow comedian friends, that don't, they call you the boy. Who cried wolf? They don't fucking. They call like. me the boy who cried sarcasm. The, the boy, sorry, the boy who cried sorry because you're. Near, hey, buddy, great job. You're just a dick. All you're like Eddie Haskell mode all the time. I'm actually sincere more often than not. It's interesting. A lot of times, no one can tell. A lot of times, people will hate me because of. I think I used to live with David Taylor. People are like, oh, that guys, fucking asshole. So, yeah. Oh, you want to hear a funny side anecdote from me earlier yeah. today? Oh, I was yeah, in the absolutely. car. And I think what's MLK Day Monday? This yes, Monday? Yes, it is. So I was listening. Probably to, when this podcast comes out. I was listening oh. to K Day, which is supposedly the original hip hop station. Someone in LA. else complained about this. Go ahead. So yeah. it was great. And I was listening to it. And all of a sudden they play, like they do sometimes with Tupac, and they'll say, like, the announcer will come on and be like, 
O'Neill, do your radio announcer voice. Say, in, hey. in loving memory of Tupac. In loving memory of Tupac Shakur. And then they'll yeah. play like, then they'll play like, Dear Mom, or a snippet a of his interview. Or something. And yeah. So today, do a, in loving memory of Martin Luther King Jr. In loving memory of Martin Luther King Jr. So on comes like, I had a dream that one day Jews and Gentiles, like, and, and in the car, and I was like, oh, this is like a fucking like a moment. Like I got kind of like, <laughs> Dewitt <laughs> emotional. Yeah, yeah. But then literally with nothing else after it, goes in straight <laughs> into the police. No, the Yin Yang twins. She's leaking. She's soaking wet. Shaking like a soul shaker. Like, like, what the fuck? Like, who, like, who, who, in what world oh, does that work? <laughs> was that the Maybe same? Maybe he was into leaky chicks, dude. I don't know. I didn't read his autobiography. I was like, just either go to commercial or like a Lawrence Hill song, something. That was a great that. inspirational speech from Martin Luther King. Now some young you know why he did. You know why he died for us? So we could play pussy. this. Shake it like a soul shaker. <laughs> Hey, if this is coming out on MLK Day, can I tell you a hilarious reverse racism story from my childhood? Go ahead. Is this when you they burned the Jewish star on your lawn? <laughs> 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 because your parents were frequenting the Jewish rec center? <laughs> on the, they got a discounted membership claiming they were Jewish? <laughs> this yarmulke just ruined our yard. That's a fake yarmulke, DeWitt. They do make... Oh, the Jews burned it? Like yeah. the Jewish KKK yeah. came, yeah. came after DeWitt's yeah. You want to be Jewish? Jewish? You want to be Here, Jews? Yeah. Here's, a, here's a star of David in your front yard, oh, asshole. Like, like in Glorious Bastards, they carve a Jew star yeah. in their forehead. You both are Jews. <laughs> My mom does make really good potato latkes. Dude, you're, you may be like one of those secret Jews, Jews who like had like they escaped from Germany, but then after the but fact. never from, what, once your dick hits from eight inches, France. you're not a Jew anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay. When you're a Jew, you're a Jew to the end. A Jew all the way from your first cut of bris to your dying. Oh, I even know. <laughs> you might know the Jew I don't, song. Even, I don't I even know, know that. Jeff is a Jew, and Jeff doesn't know the Jew song. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Where's the Peruvian yarmulke? You know what? I'm feeling very uncomfortable because as a Nazi, I think he might have been sent here to hunt me down. <laughs> oh shit, dude! O'Neill well, has gold fillings. Well, is that why you wear that hat all the time? Because you have a yarmulke underneath. No, that is the yarmulke. Oh, that's <laughs> it's, a, it's an oversized yarmulke. I saw them wear like those big Africans. I have a Nazi killing sort of the Maccabee brothers. <laughs> <laughs> What's your? And he's gonna he's gonna wipe the blood on on that guy's shirt. That bought the shirt, you'll get fresh blood. Oh, Jeff and it will will lick the blood off the sword. <laughs> <laughs> Were you beaten by black guys? Yeah, that's the that's the story. It's oh, this funny, is oh, I, this is great. <laughs> so in, a, in, in, in honor of MLK Day. <laughs> oh wait, Are we, hey, can we tell? Because I grew yeah. up on or I lived on the south side of Chicago. Well, then you probably have Next, plenty. In an all-black neighborhood. Tell them on so the street. Tonight, wait, can street? I tell you the quick one? I lived on Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Drive in 31st. Like that Chris Rock bit. It's always a bad Yeah, and like 15 years ago, it was a real shithole. Yeah, because that's when Caprini Green and stuff. No, like Caprini that. Green was up north. I lived right two blocks or three blocks from Robert Taylor Homes, and in the eighties, that place is bad. The two most dangerous places in the eighties, <laughs> the two most dangerous places in the world: Lebanon and the Robert Taylor Housing Projects in Chicago. Did you think of moving to Lebanon just to tick that one <laughs> off as well? Yeah, I was like, oh. they're like, <laughs> what do they have in common? O'Neill has been to both. <laughs> and the third is the popcorn festival weekend. <laughs> Let's just and, and the fourth yeah. is the jump at fucking <laughs> Mountain High. <laughs> <laughs> Eagle Rock is somehow <laughs> climbed in the rankings. So can, like, can I tell the story? Yeah, right dude. Quick? All right. So in eighth grade, I moved from uh, Virginia uh, to South Carolina, and there was just so you uh, went you went further into races. Country. Yeah, yeah. But there's also like uh, there's a there's a ton of black kids in South Carolina, and there are there weren't in our neighborhood in Virginia or whatever. <laughs> Uh, oh, and the, and the fucking do it fake Jew states or whatever. <laughs> or was it gated? Did you gate them off? Wait, is, no, this, is, no. this the, is this the kibbutz you lived on in Virginia? <laughs> <laughs> Did it have that magic string around it so you could carry groceries on Saturdays? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had a, a, a machine hooked up to our phone so it w we wouldn't have to dial a number. It would just did automatically you, Did you have a, a Shabbos lock, like combination lock, so you yeah, would use the key? We put the oven. Or the belt key that we, has like carved in the leather. No, you just put the oven on warm Saturday night. I mean, a Friday night. And so you know a lot just, about what to do. <laughs> he drives a minivan, and I find that most every, Jews every Jew the drive, drive, minivans. Minivans. drive minivans. Do you put the fucking menorah, menorah, on menorah on Christmas lights on top? No, yeah, he has <laughs> the like giant ski rack lit menorah. In LA, they put the ski rack on. It's fucking awesome. And at certain dinners, I ask what this herb means. <laughs> you don't stop. <laughs> 
<laughs> you don't stop at any stop signs whatsoever, <laughs> and you always those are only religious Jews for the oh record, I, like Orthodox. The secular Hasidic. Jews have their shit together. Yeah, yeah it's I'm, worst I'm, fucking. I'm driver. a good driver. Right. So uh, anyway, so I want to play basketball with all these uh, black dudes. <laughs> this is a good Jesus idea. <laughs> it sounds like a great no idea. No beard, but you still. And have you're in your athletic prime. I'm real fat. Oh, what? Not you? Were you wearing like his dick's a lot shorter too? His dick's shorter. This is the eight inch. <laughs> Here comes DeWitt in his night armor this with his wooden summer. sword. Hey, guys. It's, hey, brothers. Do you want to play basketball? This Give me the a, rock. And this was after I was real depressed because I left all my friends in Virginia and I just stayed inside and ate all summer. So I was fat you? as fuck. Right. You. Fat as fuck. No, no, how, how many LBs? You're always sarcastic, O'Neal. School Piece starts. And then how many LBs did you gain? I was huge. I looked ridiculous. You, can see I know. From space. you know what? From now on. I don't want to hear LBs. I want to know how many inches you lost in your dick. I probably had, at that point, I probably had a three-inch peen. Oh, Jesus. So you're big. So you should have had a ten. You were down seven. <laughs> <laughs> you got to look at the law, the net profit, or the net loss. So got, one day I will have a big wang. So you waddle, nice. up, okay, you so waddle up in your armor. <laughs> Anyway, so I, I waddled up to these guys playing basketball. What were you wearing? I was Jeans? wearing like jean shorts and a <laughs> oh, flip flops. No, <laughs> probably flip flops. Co- Confederate maybe. flag shirt from Myrtle Beach. Jellies. <laughs> <laughs> hey y'all! Duke's a hazard. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> a Confederate flag and the shirt said "Mod Mod." We won. <laughs> no, no, it wasn't like that. But then I was like, "Hey guys, hey, can I play basketball with you guys?" And they were like, "Because it was during gym, and they were and we, they let us do whatever we wanted during gym for some like reason, like a free play day or whatever." It was, yeah, yeah. it's like basically at recess and they were like no man you can't play basketball with us and i was like come on i'm good you know and he wasn't oh, but i guarantee you he wasn't and they were like why would you throw that and, out and, there and they were like let's see how good you are and i just fucking did the guy whip the ball <laughs> 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 he threw the ball right at me <laughs> you I dropped it up there. position <laughs> instantaneous. I, I ducked out of the way and went into a ditch i was like i'll get it i run to go <laughs> <laughs> I run, and they're like, look at him fetch. I run to fetch go that ball. hit the ball. I'm dribbling it back or whatever. And they're laughing because I'm dribbling it terrible. They're probably two-handed, too. And then like, I try to make a three-pointer shot, and it bounces. And they're like, no, you can't play. And then I got mad for some reason. Oh, Jesus. I got mad, and this kid was like calling me fatty and stuff. And How so, old were you? I was in eighth grade. And you had your anger issues. Yeah, and it's, he, had his, um, he had like a really nice baseball cap. Uh, tied like like with the uh, clip or whatever, tied to his, his jeans, like in the loop of his jeans, you know? And so I grabbed his baseball cap oh, and I, I threw it on the Jeez. ground and I stomped on it. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What? What, you got an O'Neill death wish at this point? <laughs> what kind of hat was it? Because you thought... Like a, like a starter hat. Was it like a new era? Like hat. Chris? It was, like, oh. Chris. It was very nice. Sticker. You did it because you thought you thought that the Batman, yeah. the 40-year-old Batman, would come and save you. He was in Virginia. The Batman that told you there's no Santa Claus yeah. would take the Batcopter down from Virginia. Yeah, he's in that. Virginia, dude. You're all alone and in South just, Carolina. They, I do it, and I immediately realize I've done the dumbest thing That's ever. crazy, dude. Yeah, like this is so... And they How all, many guys were there? There's like 12 guys. And, and they, you're just all alone. And they all go, let's get them. And they start running ah. after me, and I run, and I ran all the way into the locker room. And Probably I, the girls' locker room. I know, this, is this, <laughs> this is at school. This is he just school. took a shirt off. So no one would know. <laughs> so I run into. I thought this was like a weekend. No, this is like during school. Okay. The weekend he'd be dead. He'd I tell run stories of ghosts. W- weekend at Bernie's. So you, you're the new the- fat kid in town. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and this is my first impression. This is the first day of school. The first day of school. She Jesus. lied about being good at basketball. That you throw this guy's brand new hat. <laughs> How to make friends and, and influence I sh- black I people sh- by having to win. I, s- I stopped. I stopped all over it. Right. Uh-huh. You should definitely so, hang out at the JCC. I don't think this sort of stuff will happen too much. So I. I I ran into the locker room and I hid, right? And then, like, after gym was over, later in the day, uh, my- You fa- hid all day? Uh, no, no, just, like, the just, for, gym, just for the end of gym. gym. And then, uh, my after gym was over, I'm walking to class and my buddy, my fat buddy Ricky runs up to me and he is you just know, fucking- yeah. He has had the guys, shit kicked out. You guys rub your tits together first. He, he, he <laughs> How did you know this? They're guy. not Eskimos, dude. We had met over the summer. Uh, at, at the like fat a, kid. No. <laughs> <laughs> it was, well, I was a fat kid myself. I would have been probably a, hanging out with you. This is an intramural arts and crafts thing. That we <laughs> oh, oh, your mother right. set you up for social failure <laughs> so many <laughs> times, <laughs> but somehow you. 
you pro, you persevered. Pro, you persevered and I you did. you overcame, thrived overcame and you adversity. become like an ass eating like fucking machine <laughs> an yeah. ether puffing maniac yeah. so like uh, Ricky runs up to me and goes you fucking asshole he's like nearly in tears he's had the shit kicked out, out of him he's oh, so like, beating every fat kid <laughs> in, in town. no wait let, wait, wait let me finish it I know where you're goes, going you fucking asshole a bunch of guys a bunch of guys jumped me they thought that I, they thought I was you all white <laughs> fat kids look all white fat kids look alike <laughs> Ray they, were, they all beat me up. They were talking about stopping on a hat. You have to tell them it was you, not me. They keep beating me up. But he already <laughs> took the beating. So he took the beating, but like, and it's I over. Would, they I think would, it's no, over. They're gonna beat him up no, every day. They just oh. fucked with him for weeks after that. Like, they you just never kept, came clean. And, Andrew Shane never came had to cut his hair, dyed it a different color. True, true, true or man or the West. <laughs> But Ricky didn't look anything like me. Like Ricky was like way fatter than me too. And I was Is that, so, in your eyes. <laughs> in the black was, guy's eyes, they're like, this kid looks. Like he lost weight, it would be no. They thought you beat you skinny, maybe. I like I like how that's the most insulting part of the story. It's not like I felt bad for my friend. It's like I was way thinner than Ricky. Why would he think I was him? If you're a oh, fat white shit. kid, don't mess with a group of black guys because they'll probably just end up beating up your fat friend. That's <laughs> the moral mistake. of the story. My mistake. mistake. So did you always befriend fat kids for that specific reason? If you fucking <laughs> <up? laughs> a body double like like dictators do in for like uh, Saddam Hussein had all those doubles floating around so you can never assassinate them. So if I them. fuck up, if I'm gonna play Ricky yeah, or but Mike instead of or... getting oh. plastic surgery, it's just eat more hot wings. I remember, <laughs> I remember I went home and I told my dad that story and he just laughed his ass off. He thought it was great. Great. He's like, they beat up the wrong kid. Ah! <laughs> he didn't so say, why'd you stomp on the hat? <laughs> you're, gonna... <laughs> you're like the, oh, you're right. like Daniel LaRusso, but I did it the Cobra all Kai's wrong. got the wrong Daniel. I did it all wrong. I did it all wrong. Cause the next day, the next day I had sneezed, farted in the hallway in front of everybody. <laughs> sneezed, farted. How do you is this do a common everything wrong Your life in is every a constant situation. record stopping moment. Like, it's like every, every Every situation, you make the wrong <laughs> choice and do the wrong yeah, thing. Yeah, like your choose your own adventure. It's like, do you want to go here to like heaven or here? I want to go to the right. My <laughs> only friend at, in eighth grade was this uh, gay black kid named Terrence. Oh, <laughs> and he was super gay. I picture like, a, I, I'm picturing Lamar from Red Dead. Like, <laughs> with a limp chaplain. You you go, Lamar, you with your limp-wristed throwing style. So, so he, chaplain. uh. I remember the day I couldn't be friends with him anymore because we both said we were going to dress up as X Men characters for Halloween and come dressed to school as X Men characters. So I dressed you wore up. assless chaps, <laughs> <laughs> I dressed up. ass clops. I dressed up as as fat uh, Gambit. You know? <laughs> Bambit. Bambit. <laughs> did you plan it that way or Bambit. did it just happen Bambit. that way? <laughs> I thought I, I was like I could pull this up. I, like a fat kid he just buy like fat. Gambit. He just bought a Gambit costume and squeezed his ass. But I like how he's like. But I dressed up intentionally as Fat Gambit. Didn't Gambit a joke, wear a trench coat? Yeah, I wore so my... you you basically Kevin Smith. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I wore my mom's trench coat, so like the sleeves are all short and it looks ridiculous. It's like a, la- a ladies' <laughs> London fog or something like that. Pink. So then I get to school. I've got my Cheetah, I've got my I got my Gambit staff because he's got like a quarter staff. Why? Wait, that with why me. did you dress up like school? a staff of pixie sticks though, or something? No, you were like, the only two kids in costume, right? Yeah, like nobody. Like sometimes, well, I'm thinking Terrence. Might not Why the fuck? Up. Like when I was in eighth grade, I was like, "Am I wearing like a cool shirt and stuff?" You're just going the complete opposite. You're like, we're gonna dress up as X Men, and characters. no one in your life would pull you aside and say, "Hey, look, if Andrew, you did that, this it may lead to torment." Dude, I would have beat the fuck out of you if I saw that in eighth grade. So I came dressed. I would have. I would have kicked your books down the stairs. And I looked. I looked fucking. Don't awful. bully, kid. I looked awful too. Unless they dress up as Gambit and you're fucking because eighth grade. The Gambit uh, costume, and I think they still make it like this. Fingerless gloves. It's got fingerless gloves, Pink and it's headband. got uh, it's got a, pink, a purple head. Band. It's a purple headband that Why? goes around the jaw. Well, not to you, mention, you know what, though? I, I think the too. costume makers should know that the majority of kids that dress up as Gambit are going to be fat, so why don't they make it a little fatter? Like, <laughs> or put some gussets when? and some so they had drawn, in there. They had, on the Gambit main piece of the costume, they had drawn abs. Uh, <laughs> not drawn the, abs. Now the guy that's drawing this is dying laughing. He's like, <laughs> not, <laughs> wait, wait, I'm not done. I'm not done. Hold on. Not, abs not, not to mention, though, you're doing this at a time when, like, 
X Men wasn't like a cool commodity. It wasn't even a, a, a movie yet. No, no. So this is just, like this is just pure. It wasn't, even, like it wasn't even the cartoon no, I know. yet. I'm not people, saying, but me, I'm, most people didn't know what the fuck it was. Yeah, that, I'm saying like you were going to be looked on as an outcast for this love. Well, like, they like, still had the Saturday like, morning cartoon. Oh, they did. Okay. But yeah, people, people but like, I was too old to be watching. I'm in eighth grade. I should not be watching the Saturday morning. Dude, eighth <laughs> grade, you should be like trying, yeah, to, trying to finger trying people. Trying to fucking suck. You should have already been into ass eating, but I could see why you wouldn't be. Okay, so Terrence. Terrence and I were supposed to walk to every. Cl- we had a bunch of classes. What did Terrence together. dress as, by so the way? Terrence were you going to hold hands while you walked? <laughs> was Terrence Storm? Did, so Star- Terrence, did Terrence know he was gay at that point? I don't know. I don't know. Like he didn't tell you he was gay. He you didn't just, say you that just he was knew when he you was guys gay. kissed, though. Did you feel like he so, was gay? I'm, I'm dressed as Gambit. I'm dressed up as Gambit, and I'm waiting out in the hall for Terrence to show up so that we. Because I'm embarrassed. I'm the only person in costume. <laughs> So you should in the be. whole school. You should be. So in I go. I go. Did, the, did even the principal like kind of bully you a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> so I go back into homeroom. I'm waiting for Terrence. Terrence comes in, dressed head to toe as Storm from X Men. Oh, as the girl. Right. As the. As I'll give kidding. this guy. X-Men. I'll give this guy credit was, for being like that not, open about not it. Not only that, but like he, his costume was amazing. <laughs> like, like he, he went home and sewed he it. He had like a he had Sequins like sequins and like been playing this out since sixth grade. He had the grade. white wig. He, it, it was perfect. It was a perfect storm costume. Did he look beautiful? It was the and perfect he, storm. And he he <laughs> comes costume. into the room and he goes. Andrew, what's up, bitch? I am Storm. Like <laughs> that's so I sounded like, sound like <laughs> Oprah. Like Oprah. Again. Yeah. Yeah. He doesn't just. And this like, kid owned it. You gotta give fucking, him credit for that. He fucking twirled his fucking cape around his. And stuff. you gotta bump. You're gonna it. fucking and, die and in this goes, story. He goes. You look great. Come on, let's go. And like everyone was just like laughing at us. <laughs> everyone was like, "What are you they doing?" Were, everyone in that story besides you, you was doing? right. By the way. What are you doing? What and then the at lunch. So basically you and your transvestite girlfriend walking around <laughs> all day. Did you do it for an adrenaline rush? <laughs> no. Like why would I you do it? I thought everyone would dress up for Halloween. <laughs> dude, I got, dude, that's a, a two great stories. Halloween, my buddy. Is that, is that the end or do you guys get married? No, no, no. At lunch, this is where, when oh, I realized Jesus. that I had made the most, the worst social f- faux pas. It wasn't it right then. <laughs> right, right then when the guy's whipping the <laughs> fucking It was four hours, hours later. Terrence was hey, a little chubby friend. too. Terrence was a little chubby. This gang of dudes. <laughs> what are the chances? No, I. Hangs out with you? I bet he's fucking. <laughs> hey, I bet he's fucking ripped now, though. Parents so I'm, pic- I'm picturing a young Oprah in a storm <laughs> <Yeah>. costume. <laughs> so a bunch of guys come up and they have apples in their hands. Oh, and they're sitting oh at the boy! Table oh, oh Jesus! Christ. And they, they you're grab, magically playing cards. They grab Terrence by the he- the head and the they, wig and they shove the are wig these... and they shove an apple in his mouth and then they try to shove an apple oh, in Jesus. my mouth. Like your pigs? Are these black like guys or pigs? white? Are these they're white guys. Are these bla- oh Jesus! Oh, this is obviously a white. So you're I think get, Terrence you're a very get, white. You're gonna get strapped the hood of the truck look and more raped. like Precious than Oprah. It <laughs> we're, sounds like we're about to have a luau, boy. And so- they're, they shove it into his mouth. Squeal like a pig, Terrence. Did, did they, they have like, to put the banjos down to do this? Or they <laughs> no. Just and and they're, like, they got so good, they could hold the banjo on your left and, and shove the apple They, they right. drove a pickup they into go. the cafeteria. <laughs> in eighth grade. They start, they start coming towards me with the apple, and they're like, hey, these boys aren't dressed as X-Men. They're dressed as pigs. And they're like, <laughs> That's not true. Yeah, that is they true. They become Ned Betty. They, they, that they, that I kind of like these guys that are shoving apples <laughs> in your mouth. O'Neal was with them. O'Neal was with those kids. They're trying to shove the apple in my mouth, and I'm like trying to fight them off with the big gambit's quarter staff. Oh my is it God. even wood though, or is it, is it a tube from the no, middle of wrapping paper? I'm assuming. And the principal no, comes up and goes, "Open your mouth, boy. It's fucking, Take it, that apple." It's, it's just a towel rod from Michaels, dude. It's like <laughs> the, you know, it's from a, he picked it up when he was buying his wizard. You want to dress up in a Halloween costume, Andrew? You're gonna be bobbing for apples with no water. So they try to shove the apple in my mouth, and I'm like trying to make him not do this, and then the only thing that stops them is the all rape? of a sudden. All of a sudden, Terrence starts to scream cry through his apple. So he's like, 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 so he he summoned Storm's power. (laughs) (laughs) Fast forward to now, scream cry. (laughs) Terrence doesn't know why, but he loves ball gags. (laughs) He was like, he was flailing his arms around. Looked like apples. He was flailing his arms around, and just this awful sound came out of his mouth. Was he mad because they didn't put the apple in his asshole? (laughs) It was that what it mean? It was like no. I like think he was they, just at the top of his I lungs. I think it was his diabetes kicking off. It was just at the top of his lungs, and I was shouting to him, just, just bite oh. through it. Just bite through oh. it. I think bite it, through so it. Was he just opposed to like healthy food? Wait, <laughs> I, 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 think, I think we just heard a clue into what was really happening. 
because Andrew said just bite through it. I think this was maybe some oral rape. Oh. Of Terrence. Oh. Bite so through. how did, did, yeah, the, did the principal? If you bite through it, did the lunch lady show up or something? Hey, no, no. We where had, was his hand? We had lunch monitors. Where, so think, where were his hands? Jerking his back. No, he was off. like flailing them. Couldn't around he just pull the app on no, his mouth? No, he couldn't. No, Andrew had his arms pulled. Were you that little? Black Storm? <laughs> no, that wasn't me. Are you sure? No, I used to beat the shit out of him. <laughs> <laughs> so the, I'd be like, why are you so fat? The lunch monitor runs over there. <laughs> and the, like, Where are they? Good, fucking, good bobcat. Fucking yeah. <laughs> and the, we had, we had we had a police officer on campus. Oh, Jesus. You know, and she runs over there. And she hadn't stopped. And she's like, I can kick it. I'll keep the apple in Terrence's mouth. And so she pulls the apple out of Terrence's Terrence, mouth. Terrence, stop crying and take it. And he He's lost it. He's just crying, and he's just going, and he's and he's making it worse. He's just going, oh my goodness. He's been like, oh, <laughs> like, oh, like he's just going, oh my goodness. Why do they do that to us, Andrew? Did, like, and did, I, you, did, did this really happen, or did you imagine all this like a uh, fucking a beautiful mind? This is one hundred percent real. This dude. is the backstory to how Andrew met RuPaul. <laughs> first do you ever so, fuck with an apple in your mouth? Like no, just, dude. just biting down all days. It? So, <laughs> so anyway, so anyway, then this kid came up who was like part of the Apple crew or whatever. Is that what they were known as? And he like <laughs> oh. the Apple rapist. He, he, he always carried around a big he, sack he of apples, <laughs> ready to strike, <laughs> throwing one up in the air like can't catch he it. He pulled me aside. Andrew. He's like. Listen, man, they're just going to keep doing this stuff to you if you keep hanging out with Terrence, man. You can't hang out with Terrence anymore. And you can't. Oh, this was the one guy. Yeah. He, he was like, the, he had a heart. So you and abandoned he, and him. And he's like, and you can't dress up in costumes. Go <laughs> <laughs> to school. Like, he like, Other than that, welcome to <laughs> yeah. Jim Crow Elementary, boy. <laughs> <laughs> and then I felt like I That's couldn't be awful. friends. I felt like I couldn't be friends with Terrence anymore. That was the end of you and Terrence. And we weren't friends anymore, and I feel bad about that. You man. should. Look him up on Facebook, yeah. dude. What am I going to put? Gay Terrence? <laughs> you don't know his last <laughs> name? I don't know his last Look name. Oh, you. so you weren't very good friends. You probably should have been dressing in up in costume. school, costumes. do you know everyone's last name? Yeah, yeah, dude. <laughs> of course. Greek. Eighth grade Halloween story. These three kids, funniest costume ever. Our buddy Andy Flores was Mexican, but kind of dark. Like, kid, like past, like maybe wasn't undercover was like black. you. Was he jealous of you? No, he wasn't undercover. <laughs> he was. He was, was actually looking for Mexican. Our two white friends, Andy with him and Mark Vogler. Do they want dressed... their last names given? Out? Yeah, I don't give a fuck. They're okay. fucking funny guys. Okay. Uh, and I, were they, I saw. Were they them. on the surf team? No, no, they weren't. What's surfers. up, Vogler? They were, just, they were just regular dudes. I haven't seen that guy in a long time. But What's I saw, up, Torres? I've, I've seen Andy um, in the last. Probably eight years somewhere, but anyway, hey Andy, uh, with them. Uh, hey Pete, they, they dressed up. <laughs> hey Pete, uh, they dressed up. The two white guys dressed as KKK dudes, no. and, folk, and this is Orange County, like what? California, it's not the South. Like Jesus. they were, and they, they Andy dressed up as Mr. T and shaved a mohawk, and then he put, wore chains like they had, like the <laughs> like the Mr. T Mr. clan T, member. Mr. No, like Mr. T was a captive, like they're captured. Oh, oh, he wore he, chains, oh my not like gold were, chains. No, because like he, no, chains of bondage. No, Andy and Mark were hilarious dudes. They weren't racist. They were just. We had some like asshole Jeez. jock douchebags. That's a little they, racist. No, 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 no. They weren't. No, they <laughs> one of the guys. They were making fun of it. They were making fun of it, and the school. Did one of the guys dress his car up like a big slave ship and drive it in? No, they and really I think our buddy Martin, who was like one of the only black kids at our school, because it was like Southern California. He, he was too afraid to say. No, anything. I think he dressed the Klan guy too to prove that they were fucking making oh fun God. of it. They jumped on the irony bandwagon well, a little early. Well, that well that was like sixth or seventh grade, and like ninth grade they were get in trouble. Of course, they got like busted. But Mark's mom was pretty cool, and like there's the guy sewed the costume. She's like. Making you. fun of you, fuck yeah! His mom was like, "Fuck you, fucking." She's losers. like, "What we hate?" But flash forward to like a couple years later in high school, Mark and and Andy, the two white guys, go to the mall and pretend like they're a gay couple walking around the mall just to fuck with people, yeah. and get the shit beat out of them because they get actual oh, gay really? bashed. But yeah, because Orange County is pretty conservative, and there's a bunch of fucking dickheads around oh, there. Fucking... They get the shit kicked out of them by like I fucking that, a bunch uh... of jocks, and I don't even think the fucking mall security guard did anything because he was like, "Yeah, take I that." I saw that, that on. Yeah, uh, then, it was probably. totally <laughs> fucked up. Like, I saw that on guess, True TV when pranks go wrong. Yeah. Yeah, those guys, but those guys, <laughs> those guys did so Here's many hilarious. Those couple. guys did so He's many hilarious really things gay. that, like, they do pranks like Ryan's knife thing. Like, we're like, oh shit, you're gonna get shot if like a cop lives across the way and think you're really pulling a knife to your girlfriend's neck. They did tons of shit like that in high school. O'Neill told me great. you told me a good one about your buddy from home applying to a beauty. Oh yeah, <laughs> wait, what? there was a beauty. <laughs> How salon? old was he at the time? We just got out of high school, so we were like 19. <laughs> that was, seems like that period of your life was like a lot of stuff was going on. You didn't on. grow up. Like you had a weird yeah, 19 like, loss was in the woods. Yeah, decided to I, break every law. I once rode Parisa. the escalator in my mall during Christmas with no pants on. I have a picture of it. <laughs> Tidy whities People are just fucking shocked. Oh, is it crowded? People are family yeah, shopping? Yeah, and I'm just walking up there with tidy whities and a big winter <laughs> jacket on, Like, but it cuts off at the waist. 
I'll What's your buddy's name? We can give him a quick shout out. Uh, the one that did it? Yeah. Well, it was just, he'll, Or the one who well, listens to this now. Oh, uh, uh, I don't know if he wants yeah. to be <laughs> Anyway, so. But, okay, so my hey, buddy. Pete. <laughs> So my buddy, we we saw a sign that said uh, it was this like salon, but it was like kind of a up the uppity salon in my town, uh-huh. where like it was so expensive. It was, like, it, was like, it was like a super cuts or fantastic. <laughs> no, no, it was like <laughs> fantastic. Sand. They made Rain, rainbow they, kids. They had indoor plumbing. It was like trying to be like very like Chicago, like high flutin. And uh, it was you know, Chicago, said, that highfalutin city. You don't bring that style in here, <laughs> that poor boy. It said stylist wanted. <laughs> and so my buddy's like, I've got to apply <laughs> to this fucking job. So he calls, posing as like a gay guy. And he's like, I just want to know if the stylist position's open. So they're like, well, you'd have to come down. And the owner's salon you was sound gay. like a winner. <laughs> so the owner's salon is gay. So to make it better, he's like, look, I should go in there with like a boyfriend. So our other buddy poses as his boyfriend. And they go oh, in Jesus there. Christ. And he's, he's like, he has like hair like Jeff. And it's all slick Beautiful back. Beautiful locks. And he has like a mustache. And, his, and he's like holding, he's like draping all over our other buddy. And he's just like. And so the guy's like, so he, he says, like, where did you cut hair? And he said, like, in Chicago. And he's like, well, you have to get your Indiana license. And he's like, yeah, I'm working on it. And he's like, so he, he's like, well, let me show you around. How is this these... a prank? He just goes on a job interview as a gay guy? <laughs> so all these prank, people... What prank is this? So all these people get their like hair he's cut. just trying on being a gay man. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know? see put a toe in the water to see if it works. Is this the right? So it's like he's walking by women and he's like massaging their scalp. <laughs> and he's like, I love what you're doing here. And he's like picking <laughs> products up. And he's like, this is the best. And he's like taking women. <laughs> it was crazy. He's like, there was a woman getting her hair washed and he just starts like rubbing her hair. And he's like, you want to do it like this? Like really massaging it. So he sells this guy. This guy's like, this is great. We, we want to have you here. As soon as your license comes in, we want to hire you and all this shit. So how are you not but, banned? From his and then house? two weeks later, his buddy was like, hey, I've got another hilarious gay prank. What if we fuck each other in the ass? We used to do that. My buddy. No, 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 it wasn't like that. In the ass. Oh, fingers are crossed. Pinky swear it didn't count. My buddy had like very. Boy, yo, 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 yo. <laughs> uh, Is that what you learned? That he sound? had like really, really dark tint, like illegal tint. So we'd pull up next to people at a stoplight, yeah. and he would like roll down the window, and you'd just see this head going up and down, and going down, and people would be like, "Oh my god!" And then I would pop up and be like. And I'd go like this. You'd wipe your And I'd be like, what are you looking at? <laughs> Classic <laughs> Valpo antics from O'Neill and the gang. What the fuck is wrong with you? My, my one buddy, we used to go to the would Valparaiso. Would he put his dick away at that point? Or no, like we used to go to Valparaiso joke. University, and we would. <laughs> Not like, study, but do something. No, like we would harass anything. people so much that one time my buddy, because we used to always take his car for years. One time my buddy is driving <laughs> through, because it was a shortcut, and the fucking cops, like two cops, pull him over. And they go, hey, can we go we've with those gotten a lot of complaints about sexual harassment stuff <laughs> to this license plate on this car. <laughs> and so he, they basically told him, if we ever see this fucking car on this soil again, we're going to get you for trespassing and we're going to arrest you. So he was banned from Valparaiso University. So he could probably learn. wasn't the biggest deal because he didn't go to college. Yeah, yeah. No, but it took away a lot of our yelling and stuff, <laughs> harassment. A lot of your street harassment? Oh, your yeah. drive by fucking. I'm, I'm sorry. Your drive by, show me your tits hollering at people yeah. and joggers. And like, you want to see like a nine inch limp penis. Did your friend, what, did you borrow one or what do you mean? No, but then, you know. You enjoy the drive. Away. You he drive would, away. He would, he would email a picture of well, We used to like to get into the courtesy vans too yet. and drive uh-huh. around. You, you just ride in the months. courtesy van? Yeah, and then we would have like just the fucking, we would ask the driver, like, it'd be some like college kid and we'd always be like, it was always the move was. Have you ever shoved your big fat cock in any hot chicks like wet pussy? Wait, what? What? That's a. Why well, was that a move? No, we were young what, kids. What, what, what would he say? Like, no, because that's what the fuck. He would just look at us real weird, and then we'd really pressure him to tell us if he's ever shoved his big fat cock in any wet pussy on the frog with you. You're an that's not idiot. a prank. That's not a prank. You're just being gross. Like we're not. <laughs> Somebody mentioned that on the that's Facebook page. Prank. Someone mentioned that Boner said he like said the sheriff and uh, Jeff said Jeff and Andrew where they tell embarrassing stories you can tell that they feel bad about it and like it haunts them <laughs> and O'Neill's like oh man I wish I could go back in time and relive when I asked hey, the guy be like cramming good. his cock and sloppy what? pussy on a bus and then we said we don't believe your cock is big take it out and show it to <laughs> us there was like a defunct uh, fraternity 
at the uh, Valparais University had closed down. There was like one surviving member, and we knew his name. So we used to go around asking people to the point that we pu- parked outside this fraternity one night. And we asked a guy, and a guy goes, hold on. And he runs in, and like five or six guys run out. He goes, these are the fucking assholes. They keep t- asking us about this. They start beating on the fucking windows. And I told my brother, go, drive, dude, drive. He goes, no, it's fine. And they just start pounding their fucking bottles. And they're like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> And finally, we drove away. I also have... saw that on when good pranks go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> did you have, what? Did you ever like have a good day where you did a good thing or like? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That time so... they blew up the guy's <laughs> mailbox who everyone hated in Valparaiso. Stole the prosthetic. One winter Stole the storm. Leg of like a World War II veteran or something no. as a goof. <laughs> One winter storm. Everyone was like people that were stuck. Me and my buddies went downtown in our snow suits and pushed them out. <laughs> Did you charge them money? <laughs> then they yeah. stole their no, money. No, <laughs> but me and my other buddy used to drive around along the uh, oh boy. along the country roads, and then we'd tow people out for money. <laughs> well, I do. Did remember you have a tow truck or just bungee time, cords? One time, me and my buddy were driving, and it was we we're out in the country. We were smoking. Would you, sim- would you simulate the blowjob when, when you blow? No. We, 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 we would smoke. <laughs> we were smoking a joint apiece. Do it. And oh, we saw a guy who had driven off the road. And we're like, hey, dude, all, do you, you need all, some of this joint? No, do you need some help pushing it, your car out? And he goes, yeah, that'd be great. And then we go, too bad. And then we floored it. But we just sat there spinning on the ice. We're like, I was like, go, dude, go. And the guy's running up. Fuck you guys. And we, we were like going two miles an hour as we're trying to drive away. <laughs> Fucking moron. What the fuck is wrong with you? Well, well the shittiest person ever. <laughs> Luke O'Neill <laughs> and his buddy Bo were up to their own tricks. Oh, man. Tell a lie. You got to tell but this remember recent that, story. What about that Christmas when the, that poor family didn't have enough money for a uh, sled for their kid to sled on the snow? And you so gave, you beat them all. So you, <laughs> so you gave them that stop sign you ripped down. They they girl that he uses car. a sled. A car accident so they can use the stop Look, sign. I've done a lot of decent things in my life. You can't so name any of them. I'm going to have to write a letter and tell you about something. Uh, tell re- the story about how Freddy. Do you uh, believe in heaven? Real question. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> if I did. Do you I'd believe probably. in Nazi heaven? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think there's there's Jew gold and Nazi heaven. There's uh <laughs> here's a re- right. here's well, a you're reason. the ones who make me out. I'm not a fucking Nazi, you assholes. Here's a reason. Well, can we get oh, in, Can we get into a recent story of the O'Neill Circle of Chaos? Yeah, and now I can come absolutely. back to haunt you. That was this summer. Um, but this is a story. <laughs> this is an adult O'Neill. But I'll, in his defense, I'll preface it. it does not start out or end in O'Neill's fault it. at all. But no. here it goes. Tell all right, so it goes. I was hanging out with my brother-in-law. Uh-huh. Um, he's like in his forties, early forties. Just to pr- and Who's also married to your sister. Yeah. Also to preface it, if you get him and O'Neill together and you give either of them a drop of alcohol, there are going to be fires set. There will be crimes <laughs> committed. There will be near fisticuffs. They're a, ba- a volatile combination. Jesus Christ. So uh, we I, and I'm hanging out with his buddies, and they're all early forties. And they, you know, they're, they have kids and stuff. They're grown men. I know. So they they only kind get to of. go out every once in a while. So they so got to make it count. Go, yeah. Those are the most dangerous guys. Yeah, married guys who don't go out a lot. So they like want normal they, guys, not like us. So we go to a bar in Highland Park, and they, like, really want to booze it up. And I'm not that into it because I can go out whenever the fuck I want because I'm a free man. So I, well, they, when you're not at your girlfriend's household, the knife to her throat when she's doing the fucking dishes. <laughs> he's still so when you're done. He's still a free man though. He's holding the knife. Yeah, <laughs> so they want to make this like the fucking uh, the night to remember. So they're pounding alcohol, and so we go to a couple other bars, and at like the second bar, um, his buddy, who's like a pretty funny guy, he raises chickens in his backyard in Highland Park. <laughs> He decides, which is like a suburb city, not like a like not like back east. Where no, you yeah, land. It's, like, it's like it's in L. A. This like guy's an, like an apartment a, complex. This guy's yeah, like a, a really hilarious com- character, and he has like a very funny <laughs> Mexicali <laughs> accent. Like yeah. everything he says is funny, regardless if he's trying to be. <laughs> Even he's trying to be serious. You can't take him seriously. He looks kind of like Carlos Mencia, but he's a little pudgier. Like he's just like a funny character. So he thought it'd be funny to punch me in the balls. <laughs> so he fucking well, you gotta hauls say, off. You gotta say where you are though. Set up that. Well, the, no, this is at the second bar. Oh, okay. I'm so he was... punches me in the balls, and I'm, you know, I'm like, fuck, you know, it hurts. Quick it's, side note is you've never, I've never seen a chick punch another chick in the vagina. It's never tit. been done in the like history of the world. Oh, that chick Andrew dated that beat him up. No, no. <laughs> Push me in the pussy. Push me in the cunt. I will, uh, Don't chip one of my teeth we, down there. We had to take a self-defense class in college, and it was for both sexes. 
and there was like an anti. Of course, of course, you signed up. There's an, there's an, uh, there's an anti. Hey, but wait, what about all your years of karate? Well, the, you, you wanted have to refresh. take it. You, you had had to take refresher, it bro. As a as a freshman, Fresh and they had up. to they had to teach men how to fight off a, a female rape. <laughs> Is that what is that? Is that involves unzipping what? your pants and it's getting so, it hard so they what? can fuck it? And so, like, they did this thing where, like, for girls, you go, no, no, and you punch with each no, and then on the third no. The no is you just, you pan punching punch in one no, titty, then the other titty. On the third no, you punch the guy in the dick, right? Oh, the guy, the guy. Yeah, but for the for the guys who are fending off the, the girl trying to rape Which them. Which never you, happens you, you in go, the world. Yeah, you go, no, no, and then you go, knife hand no, up and the you, you do a knife hand up in the Crutch. The credit card swipe <laughs> in the yeah, vagina. It's like a credit card Would swipe. you probably get a female rapist pretty excited at that point? But I think if I were a girl, the best way to fight off a rape would be like, okay, wait, stop. Let me suck your dick first. And as soon as that comes out, bite it off and fucking spit it in his face. Like Shawshank style? Like uh, I spit, or uh, Last House on the Left. But my buddy Ace was in that class with me, and he thought Ace. it was so funny. That like he got real emotional when he was doing it, like as if he was really trying to fight off a woman who was trying to have sex with him, and he was going, no, 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 Jesus no, Christ. no, 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 leave me alone! I don't want to fuck you! Like he was like screaming and like just started to do the knife, the knife jab over and over. He goes, I don't want to fuck you! And like trying to make himself. Were you in one of those big sumo outfits, like a Japanese sumo rubber thing? Like is it? Were you being the one? I thought it was hilarious, but the female self instruct uh, self defense teacher did. <laughs> she was <laughs> not surprised. She was not. Wait, wait, was he serious? He was joking. He was joking. Oh, I he thought was he was joking. Serious. He was being a dickhead. So you get okay, back to, to your thing. So back, I get, so back got, to this. We're story. at the second bar. Everyone's pretty loaded. He, he punches me in the balls. He thinks it's hilarious. It's not as good. It's not as powerful as when John Jones, light heavyweight champion of the world, punched me in the balls. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm and like, me at the same time. So I'm kind of pissed, and then, but I let it go, whatever. Okay. So we finally closed the bar down, the second bar, and so we decided to go to a taco truck near where I live. Does this guy know about your extensive Muay Thai training and your uh, shins of steel? And all yeah, that but of he stuff? doesn't give a fuck. Okay. So to make sure. we go to the taco truck, and it, it's a shitty taco truck. It takes forever, but finally, and he, you know, he's a bigger guy, so he orders like a huge amount of food. So he grabs, they call his name, and he has two plates of food. Oh, and he's holding one in each hand. So I decide this is an opportune time. <laughs> oh, for me, the O'Neill trouble radar went off. To run up, punch him Retard right spider sense. in the fucking balls. And he almost drops his food, but he doesn't. But That's he a true over. fat guy. Oh, the, the, the food. <laughs> and then he sets the food down, and he's him. like, oh, God. And then he goes, <laughs> he just turns to my brother-in-law. He's like, I got to do something about this. So he... He sets his down. He takes off running after me, and I'm dying laughing. <laughs> and I keep looking back. I keep looking back. And then, like the third time I look back, I notice he's laying on the on the <laughs> sidewalk. Jesus and then I think he's playing possum. Oh god! And then he comes, and I go, dude. And then I walk up, and I see something's wrong. Like he didn't. He's not, he didn't just lay there. He tripped and fell. And so I go, what's he's wrong? Not, he's not sleeping here. What's going on? And he on? goes, I think I have dirt in my mouth. And he, he, I go, let me see your mouth. And he, and he smiles at me. Oh, his teeth are gone. <laughs> They're gone. <laughs> They're fucking disintegrated. <laughs> he's, not, he's knocked out all his fucking teeth <laughs> on the right side. All his teeth are gone. His canine what? tooth is a tiny baby tooth. <laughs> and I go, oh my God. And I go, oh my God. If you want to hang out with O'Neill, email him. And then he goes, O'Neill, the ass kicker. No, no, for gets, a tour of Highland Park. It's better. He goes, <laughs> Because I don't think it's dirt up to it. I think it's my teeth. I go, no, dude, you're fine. <laughs> and I run back to my brother. Though I go, dude, I don't have the heart to tell him, but his fucking teeth are gone. <laughs> and he goes, and he starts dying laughing. <laughs> and so does the other guy start. Pieces of shit. And then he stands you. up, dude. This guy fell. He tripped on the little tiny crack of the sidewalk. <laughs> he fell face first. <laughs> I, Mouth open we, first. His <laughs> fucking, he had this bruise on his arm. We thought his bone was broken, and the whole side of his face was scraped up. It looks like he didn't want to hurt his hands, so he just fell on his teeth to break the fall. Well, they say when you're drunk that you don't put your hands out. That's why his teeth. So we go. We had to take this guy to the urgent care. 
And so, didn't, didn't you wait for your food first? Oh asshole? yeah. Well, no. My brother in law <laughs> he goes, well, I got a burrito <laughs> coming, and now he can't enjoy it. He doesn't have teeth. Oh, I gotta eat my burrito all fast and it's hot. So then he mouth. slowly walks back to my brother in law. My brother in law goes, "Let me see," and he smiles. His teeth are gone, and we all just fucking lose it. We're dying. We can't ever see something We're so funny in our lives. Laugh, you're laughing in his face. And so our the other guy, because there was four of us all together. The other guy goes. Well, we got to take the urgent care. My brother-in-law goes, well, my burrito's still coming. I go, yeah, and I didn't get mine either. And so we wait for the food. Can you eat his tacos that he's not obviously not able to eat? Well, then we end he's, up eating. One's like a quesadilla and then a bunch of tacos he and want, shit. He, that guy asked the, the food truck if they could liquefy it in the milkshake. Point and kidding. so we take him to the urgent care, and <laughs> they go, they thought, they go, he they pulled them. my brother-in-law aside, they go, after he told him that he tripped Ruddy, he goes, look, man, tell me what happened. Did you guys beat the shit out of him? <laughs> and then feel bad. And he goes, no. <laughs> like a <laughs> fight club thing? And then my, uh, my, the other guy, we had to go back and see him while he was sitting there. And we Weren't looked, you all eating the food and shit? Yeah. <laughs> but we look at him. We look at him. And, and we fell. Because he's so mad, but his delivery is so funny. He is funny. He goes, Man, I just want to see the doctor. <laughs> and we heard him, and we dr- we fell over on the floor, died laughing, and we kept apologizing. Piece of and, shit. and we, dude, I, I couldn't breathe. He had no teeth, and so the doctor just looked in, and he, the doctor was laughing. He goes, "Well, you got to call the dentist tomorrow." And he gave him some like Neosporin and taped up his That's arm. That's like all he could do for him. He's like, "You had a lot." So I then, a dentist. I think it was like that eight, next I think it was like eight grand in dental work. I think he had At to pay least, two thousand like of it. It was months of and work. And it was months of work. And the best part is the next day he had to go to a wedding with his lady. <laughs> he had to go home. This guy had kids and tell his lady, hey, you know why I didn't come home last night? I wasn't fucking having a good time. My brother in law punched was, the guy in the balls and then caught myself with my mouth my on the My brother in law just floor. was taking a million pictures, sending it to all his buddies, and they were just texting back, This is the funniest shit I've ever seen in my life. And he looked, oh, he smiled, fuck. he has no fucking teeth, man. All gone. Jesus. So, yeah, if you want a tour of Highland Park in the burritos uh, truck, only on the ass <laughs> he, kicker. He gave Yahoo. a great com. line. He goes, oh, man. And I had such a great smile. <laughs> <laughs> it was like nothing I noticed. Didn't he say it was like all I had going yeah, for Yeah, it was all he had going for was his great smile. <laughs> Didn't have that eight-inch eight DeWitt cock well, going the, for The sad thing is he was like going through like a bat. He, he had his lady... Was like leaving home and like it was like this whole fucking. I'm sure this helped it all. <laughs> helped expedite the process. How are we doing so, on time? Oh, I got a funny. Got, we got to, yeah. I'm gonna give you of, another. Can, can I just say yeah. one sentence real quick, yeah, which yeah, is please. nobody at an urgent care at three o'clock in the morning wants to see guys coming in with burritos from a food truck, <laughs> choking laughing, on them, laughing, laughing with Could beers you in the back pocket. <laughs> Can you imagine what those fucking oh, emergency hate, room doctors hated saw. you. These that's why, they, that's why they asked if you beat them. They're like, you're so nonchalant these, about this. These I gotta say, shit it's in my top you. five hardest laughs of my life. <laughs> Just the idea of being in an emergency room and finishing Jesus your burrito. <laughs> sir, we're, sir, we're trying to keep this a sterile environment. Can you get your bean dip off of this man? <laughs> no, hey, can you get your uh, chips and salsa hey, out of hey, the... Uh... Hey, he can't eat them. He doesn't have teeth anymore, so we gotta oh, that, yeah, Then my the brother doctor goes, hey, you're not gonna eat your quesadilla Right? Maybe I can have it. <laughs> did the doctor scrub up and then did the doctor scrub up and say, Oh, I love chips and salsa. You mind? <laughs> hey guys, they brought a bunch of extra food. Come on, it's okay. <laughs> I had a buddy uh, in high school, another precautionary punch in the ball story. Buddy of mine in high school, he would go out and his move was he was a bit of an oddball. Uh, ironically, did not get into comedy. Funny guy, though. He, his move would be to get, this isn't funny, it was just weird. He would get drunk in bars and then piss up against the bar like this while standing ridiculous. there. And we would all be like, what, what do you take his dick out and just yeah. piss into the wood and it's just going like, splattering like, back and getting on the ground and everything? Yeah, like, but just up against the bar like no one knows I'm doing this. Like, what a good time. <laughs> and so we'd always be like, dude, what are you doing, man? <laughs> We're like, the bathroom's 10 feet away. There's no line. Like, just go to the bathroom. 
So one th- there's a side story, but at one time he was with his girlfriend, and like this girl was like the perfect match for him. Like she knew he did this, like didn't really care, and she had this. She nice- liked to take a shit at the movies <laughs> in a popcorn box, and throw it at the front row. <laughs> she had this nice leather jacket, and it was in the oh, winter. Jesus. And she puts it on the stool, and just falls into his piss, and I was like, "You deserve that!" Like this, <laughs> you're gonna so <laughs> reap what you sow. <laughs> so we're at the. I'm in New York City with this guy. We we drove up there from Boston for like a weekend with his buddies from college. The last place you want to be pissing. So this guy, we're in oh, this bar, boy. we're both drunk. This guy oh, decides Jesus. that he's going to take a knee in like a back corner by a plant, and he's going to piss there. <laughs> <laughs> Pisses all over his pants, <laughs> all over his shirt. And so I'm just like, <laughs> he pees in himself? So I give him again, like, you deserve that. Like I told you, like, you shouldn't be pissing in public places. You shouldn't be pissing. So this guy is covered in piss, just walking around, doesn't care. Oh. And so he used to like to get drunk, and he would <laughs> punch me in the balls. Like this guy. And so I'm like 10 feet away from this guy, like I, and I was like watching him. And I see him go up to this bouncer who's about six foot six, oh, Jesus. 350, and oh, this Jesus. black guy. Oh, and, Jesus. and I'm like, what is he doing? What is he doing? He punches this guy in <laughs> oh, the my ball. Fucking God. And so in my mind, I'm like, what the fuck oh, is fuck. going on? So I rush over, like, what? This guy's about to die. And the bouncer, and the bouncer, I swear to God, sounded exactly like Vin Graham's from Pulp Fiction. He goes, either you drunk. Are you crazy? Which one is it? <laughs> and like, I think he must have hit his hip because he didn't like it. Didn't affect the black guy at all. Yeah, yeah. He, he missed, must have missed, he missed a, a shot. shot. And and the guy looks at me like, and he looks back and forth from me to the bouncer, and he goes, "I thought that was you." And I and I go, "Yeah, we look so much alike." <laughs> at which point, the bouncer kind of like started laughing, and I smoothed it out. And he was like. Don't fo- like m- watch uh, watch yourself for the rest of the night, but you let us stay. In there. Is he covered in pee at this point? Or yeah, still different? covered in his own pee. <laughs> Wait, he, the bouncer he would have passed is crazy. <laughs> he pissed That's all true. Over himself, punching yeah, it was a tough the night. Pit. I don't know why the bouncer didn't. <laughs> he would have passed. Crazy. <laughs> yeah, crazy is the <laughs> <He> <laughs> been, good call, O'Neill. No <laughs> teeth. But if you're out there listening and you're a fan of Boner City oh, or a Bonerite, as uh, our buddy that guy Gonzalez said, and Happy Martin Luther King Day. Don't don't punch guys in the ball. Because not a lot of good's gonna come and out. Don't, well, you never don't stomp on a black eighth grader's hat. <laughs> well, no, you and never. Don't, be, don't be best friends with a fat black eighth grader that dresses a storm. <laughs> if you're allergic to apples or it, racism it, or beatings, when we were punching and each don't other, don't let a Mexican knock his teeth out. Yeah, yeah. When we were, uh, <laughs> got all serious. Yeah, like it's, <laughs> when we were at the comedy store, it, the ball punching got so bad. We had a ball punching three. It was, it was, it was Ari Shafir from yeah, the Skeptic Ari was Tank. In the, Ari was. It in was Ari. While. Like, me and you didn't do it against each other. No, no, but we was like, a, yeah. But then it got to the point where one time I was taking a nap, and I woke up and just covered my balls. I go, this has to end. Like, it had gotten to the I point was where once, you were so freaked out. I was once on stage in the comedy store in the original room. If you know the comedy store, there's a curtain behind the stage. Mm-hmm. And you can get up there. There's, there's a cubby hole behind There's it, a yeah, bar. You can come up. For, so I'm on stage. I think I was either hosting or I was just doing a set. I think you're doing a set. And Ari Shafir comes up from behind me out of the curtain, unbeknownst to me, gets to a knee. Big audience. And fucking ball shots me. Thank God didn't, like, because I, like, I was in front of an audience. Thank God didn't, like, <laughs> I would have, like, been on the ground in the fetal position, like, talking into the mic. And I was just like, this ball, it got so far that we said, we're calling a treaty. And if anyone violates or, or, the treaty. Or Ryan says a moratorium. A moratorium on ball shots. <laughs> truce. And if anyone even as much as ball, does a quick fake. Punch at the balls. You, they lose. You're the getting ball. what? You're getting a the shot. Ladle. A free, you're getting the ladle. There was a thing in the comedy store. Somebody must have had a dog. It was one of those like scoopers that you take the tennis ball and you oh, whip you it. throw the tennis ball. And yeah. So like you're getting that ladle to the sack. So Ari forgot about it and he punched me in the sack. And me and O'Neill were like, Lado! We started like chanting. I went down for a while. He got me so good. So one, one of them held us. The other fucking w- cranked he, it back. He, no, he held, held He held Ari's arms. I cranked this fucking dog tennis ball thrower like. Oh, you can back, bend it. Yeah, so it'd snap I bend out. it back as far back and as it goes. And Ari's got huge, freaky looking nuts, too. Which he like shows on stage nuts. a lot. Yeah. Why yeah. do you guys know what Go, his nuts He shows them on stage. Google search Ari Shafir testicles, nuts, or balls. Maybe put a link they're up all, there. They're I all grabbed them once for Ari's, $100. At the comedy store, some rich guy was like, You won't grab those? And he's like, Fuck yeah. For $100? I'll, <laughs> I'll grab his balls. You were a male prostitute. No, he also fisted pigs when he was like 11, though, for his dad. So what the fuck? So I ladled this guy's fucking oversized nuts. He was down for five 
<laughs> we, we I think you could have done damage. And I think they're black and blue, like serious. I ate all them. And we were like, hey, you broke the treaty. You broke the moratorium. <laughs> so don't hit dude. people in the balls. It's not cool or else anymore. You'll get hit in the balls more. <laughs> you like, reap what your balls sow. Overwhelming retribution and justice is the way to bring law to the land. <laughs> right. That's Christ. the sheriff of Motor City talking. <laughs> that is the sheriff of Motor City. You guys are idiots. Uh, last time we said the same thing. Have you got any questions or? Uh, oh, wait, can we hear problems? your veneer story? Oh, yeah, so uh, for O'Neill's been jailed. Eleven for years. years. O'Neill's has been making O'Neill's been making fun of me because I have my two front top teeth have veneers. Like yeah, have beautiful a, veneers. I, are they made out of uh, elephant the, tusks? They're made out of wetsuits. Ivory that have been boiled down. <laughs> they're ivory. No, when are I, they made out of uh, children's no. uh, ribs? Yes, they're made out of uh, African children's rib from MLK Day. My, my parents, Jesus. my sister, oh, for too my, far. For, for my, yeah. for my, for my quinceanera. <laughs> Fuck you. I feel you dirty, babies. <laughs> I feel dirty. You're, you're best friends with a fucking Nazi, and you're fucking. Come on. I'm not a fucking Nazi. Your grandparents. You know what? We're gonna have you. another Motor City trial <laughs> and get yeah, a war crime. And I'm gonna have a Jewish lawyer get me. Off, no, no more trials. No more, no I'm more not trials. Dan, no, as the mayor of Boulder no, City, nobody wants yeah. to defend Dan. No more, no more trials. Read my lips. No, no new more trials. trials. <laughs> that was the worst episode we ever did. Y'all keep running your mouth about trials around here. We're uh, gonna have to that chick Abby up, okay? liked it. Okay. That chick Abby left a oh, good comment. Chick, you hold a knife to her throat when, when you when she I don't does know the about dishes. That. Idiot. <laughs> Uh, when I was in uh, like when I was in like ninth, when I was in ninth grade, I was playing. We were playing pool, and you know you're dumb in ninth grade. You were a genius. Obviously. Did Steven Seagal come in? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. He, said, we were... he put his badge and gun down on the table, and no. then he goes, "Come okay. on, okay." Andrew, <laughs> Andrew will appreciate this more. You know when you're like dumb and like more nerdy than Cool O'Neill that's crushing pussy and racing cars. I wasn't crushing and, pussy back no. then. I didn't crush pussy until I got my braces off in my senior. <laughs> I might. He know. told me about that once, and he had such swagger. He's like. All the chicks wanted. To when fuck I got me. those braces off, it was like a so it because you had your, your rich switch. guy hotel owner money to get fucking braces. Probably yeah. the only one in your fucking. Well, I, had, I was driving a better car than that. And he kind of had '80s bad guy hair. You look a bit of a bouffant. Like, yeah. Oh good? yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, go and ahead. You know when you're like in like your ninth grade, you're, you're like you're a freshman, so no chicks will fuck you because they're all fucking seniors. Yeah, we all yeah. know that. Yeah, because so, I, I just barely started to get pubic hair. So you get. Yeah, I don't want it, but now, but now you have a giant cock because you lost weight, so you're happy. We, you know, like we got into juggling or some bullshit like for a week you know your friends all get juggling stupid the, yeah i know i know that juggling phase you go through as a <laughs> well, it's better than the beating the guy in the nuts phase i'm like kind of a dorky kid we're into juggling or for, like, wait, was week. it before or after pogs <laughs> oh, <Jesus Christ. laughs> so, i think it was uh and then after the, the juggling you went to pogo sticks we were playing pool at a friend's house you guys were had, juggling at somebody's house who had a pool table and you're and like Wow, we there's so to... many balls to juggle here, guys. <laughs> <There's> <laughs> some pool balls. We had finished sucking each other's dicks in a tinted windowed car. Is that then... where the tr- is this the tranny story too? <laughs> no, and we're juggling pool balls, like trying to do two or three or whatever. And, it's hard. and you're like, let me juggle them with my mouth. <laughs> no, we no, we, we also all, we all sucked at it too. No, no one could really juggle that well. Like no one was what? good. You guys. The ga- no Future one. captain of the surf okay, team. I was not. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> many several people couldn't juggle well. We decided. I'm, so pissed. I'm just. I'm not even yelling. Go ahead. I'm I not even yelling. It. It's a call oh, before the storm. I'm so fucking mad at you, but I'm is. not yelling. There it is. So we decided, like, we weren't going to juggling. Let's take it to the next fucking level. Let's try and juggle the balls in between each other. Like what? Like four balls. Like, like we can't like do professional <laughs> jugglers can't do this. You're like, like but you uh, can't do it yourselves. You're like, let's no, do it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe we'll be better at a more advanced level. Let's do it blind. Folded on a fucking Let's like, light them on wheel. fire. Like, yeah. See if we can do those. <laughs> Let's make them nice. So we do it. First throw, I throw and my pool prepared. balls, not tennis no, balls. Fill your fucking balls, dude. Not tennis oh balls, not God. fruit. I throw one. My buddy and I and my buddy Aaron misses it, so he kind of has to like scoop down like to the floor. And you don't need like catch. He just whips right. it. He hard. whips it from oh, the floor oh, into my ah. fucking mouth. My Oof. two front teeth, like a half moon completely broke oh. right to the nerve and it's like a fucking Saturday and I have to tell my parents so I'm in a shit ton of trouble nerve like damage and teeth is pain I had to wait till like Mine's that dying. next Wednesday to get school off and they couldn't uh. and I kind of a shitty dentist you had to wait till Wednesday with the nerves out yeah well like it was just up to the nerve How it, wasn't, you like, it wasn't bare you couldn't really you just ate like the right you couldn't drink anything hot or cold basically right uh. so I go and the uh. fucking doctor at that point it was like the 90s they, I don't know I was a shitty dentist he did um that bonding thing. He bonded. Oh, repair, shit. Which, that shit's super brittle. So that's like high school. Four years later, I'm like 19. I fucking, they, ch- they chip. And I'm like, I'm like, I'm on vacation. So I had like a chip front tooth for like two <laughs> weeks. Go back and they can only bond your teeth so many times for that shit. You can't put like bonding yeah. on one. So by the time I was like t- like 21, because you saw that dating game thing when I was like probably 19 or whatever. Yeah. When I was like 20 or 21, right 
or late, even later than that, probably like twenty three or twenty four. That's when you got into crystal meth and ruined the no, rest of your teeth. No, sorry, no. I, when I was tw- when I was like mid twenties, I I had like a slight gap and I had like a teeth that were bonded, right? You were juggling in bowling balls tw- in my mid twenties. <laughs> in the mid twenties, they bond. They ch- this is such a fucking boring story, but I'll, I'm so fucking mad at you for making me tell it. It's so fucking stupid. I like it. When I mid twenties, I fucking they, like they had chipped again, and the doctor's like, "Listen, we can't fucking fix these. You're just gonna have Chip to get in. a root canal to save them." Nah, he he might have root canal, but he's like, "Listen, we're gonna do whatever the fuck we do, root canal, whatever, and then we're just gonna put these veneers on." And they fucking, did. And it, but it was a fucking, t- it was like three grand. It was a fucking oh, rip yeah. off. Did, but for now, like I've had them for like fifteen years, and they're fine. Did you I ever? Got, did you ever learn to juggle? No, I never learned to <laughs> fucking juggle. The sad end of the story. I probably moved on to yo-yos the next week. We're driving. Dan, I've we got, got. We did. We, we're, we got into fucking yo-yos for like a year. I had like a. Oh, oh we're doing it. Oh, I'm walking the Dan dog. Dan is serious about like dental pussy. health too now because of it. Because one time we were sharing oh, a Jesus hotel Christ. room at Comic Con together, like all uh, like me and Jerry. And he Rocha. flossed right after and you Dan, sucked your dick. And he looked at my he looked at my uh, toothbrush. He goes, "You need to buy a new toothbrush." Your and toothbrush. Just tossed hey, it in the trash. Your toothbrush looking like a bit of a go box. What about asshole? I I agree with. Dan on this. A toothbrush is three dollars. I will buy you a new toothbrush hey, what about, anytime you what want. What about David Taylor's <laughs> ever toothbrush? Seen his? David Taylor's toothbrush. When David Taylor and I lived together, we went to had, La Jolla. He had his own. He had his Dude, own bathroom. We went to La Jolla with him. This looked like you had cleaned like. 800 toilets like it was like like you cleaned flat, it a belt sander yeah. it was like flattened out and we're it's, like dude you need it that doesn't do anything I think he was brushing his hair with it on the side <laughs> of his head yeah. hey, anyway yeah I it's, just like, it it's so cheap but no I, I have uh, this half of this tooth is fake yeah because I but smashed I, it into a wall when I was a little kid but and it's dying now, so I have to get a root. But canal. you always keep like, oh, I didn't get that like in high school. I got that like, and I was probably like twenty five or twenty six. So I had to because I couldn't repair my teeth anymore. Because your parents wouldn't let you come in the house with that sort yes, of grill. Yeah, they were so because all of them had they got a family package on veneers. <laughs> now we no, I this is can I tell a you, set, like, you had to you had to I get tell, up before they all on I Can I tell a funny sad story real veneers. quick? It's Wait, but did great. your butler recognize you without <laughs> teeth? We didn't have a butler. <laughs> Uh, we did have a cleaning lady that my, but I think my dad might have been fucking because my mom had him fired. Like she got fired. Like she'd been with us like a long time. He was and definitely I, fucking. Yeah, her, I think so. So he, that that's was called a weird Schwarzenegger. Thing. Well, she was white though. So did your, t- did your mouth bleed freedom. at all? But that's when when it broke the teeth. No, but when it hit you, to hit your lip or anything. And I'll do no. Respect. It was just such a clean. It was so. It oh. was such a clean break. It was like shocking. Like Jesus where I didn't Christ. believe it. It went right down his throat. And I, dude, I was like fucking fourteen or fifteen. I was fucking bombed, dude. I didn't cry because yeah, I, I was. I was old enough not to cry in front of my friends, but I was fucking bombed. I, like, I would have cried. It's never Here's too late an to awful cry. Story. Great story. My wife What's loves crying story. right now. So back a million years ago, I first started, like probably two or three years into doing stand up. Um, I didn't talk to my dad a lot because he was kind of a drunk. Kind because of crazy. he wouldn't buy you any new wetsuits? No, because we were, he got, we got divorced from my mom and then it was like, we wanted to kill each other, didn't talk for a few years. And hey, Pete. He, he bought a bunch of guns and then I bought a bunch of guns. <laughs> oh, <laughs> stand up. Buy Cold War. No, I did. My, my dad and mom owned two commercial buildings. So in the divorce, my mom got one and my dad got one. My mom should have sold it because like they shouldn't have seen each other anymore. But she owned it, was trying to rent it. My dad saw her down the street from his business and thought she was spying on him. So he, who has like DUIs and stuff and all those criminal problems, couldn't buy a gun in California. He had one of my uncles buy him a gun and ship it to can him. I ask, can I ask a side question? Yes. Which one of you, you or your dad, got to the moon first? <laughs> <laughs> your old <man>. Asshole. <laughs> anyway, Cold War you, Soviet anyway, U.S. Yeah, humor. I understand. Yeah, yeah many, many my... dogs and monkeys. Oh, I thought died. that was a reference to Ducktales. <laughs> 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 anyway, this is great. My dad fucking buys this gun, like a, like a, it is a shitty gun too. It's like a like a Walther like P3, like a, like a nine yeah. those nine millimeters, a real small fucking bullet. That it's like a twenty two. Yeah. And he co- did he walk around me, your neighborhood holding up no, his shirt like a gang? No, he kept it in his fucking office, and he's drunk all the time. By the way, he drank during the day. He's drunk. He t- goes, oh, I want to show you something. Go to his office, pulls out this fucking gun and goes, yeah, your mom is spying on me. So I bought this gun off your uncle. If I what see her, I'm going to shoot her. And I'm like, I'm like, I got to go. I'll see you later. I drive directly to a fucking gun store. and I get You my, bought a gun to protect your mom? Well, no, I bought I bought three guns. I bought a 40 caliber Glock, a 9mm 6 hour, and a 380 Smith & Wesson throwaway. And it was like a three-week waiting period. And like my dad and I would go like weeks or months without talking because we were both kind of crazy. But he was like way crazier and kind of a dick. Did your dad notice the charge on his credit no, card? No, it was my, credit, it was my it? credit card. It was, I, was, I was in college at a fucking job. So I How bought these. wetsuits I bought these. It was, I had to, Dude, I had to go. <laughs> many wetsuits weren't bought the next winter because of the gun money. <laughs> Long story short. I get. I have to wait three weeks. It's California. I get the guns. The day I get the guns, I buy fucking hollow points and black talon for all <laughs> yeah, of them. Yeah, I yeah. love those. And I load all the well, magazines. They hollow point, them. black talon, hollow point, black talon, hollow point. Jesus. And then I take all the guns. You know, guns usually come with like a Glock. They come with like a nice plastic case. The six hour had a nice case, like almost like a Pelican case. Yeah. I drove to my dad's work, and I find. <laughs> 
Go ahead, one coming. Were you up. wearing like six wetsuits in <laughs> case he shot you? Six wetsuits so and, a, and a Rambo headband. Yeah. He's wearing a wetsuit trench coat. And, um, <laughs> I, I put wet, guns. Wetsuit headband. Okay. When anyway, you bought your car, Jesus did you Christ. ask to have the interior wet, made out of wetsuit? Yeah, yeah. All body glove wetsuit, hot pink. Can you tiger take the side. leather out and just have wetsuit? Did you so put, did you I put on your put checkered van? I go, I tell my man, go to go to your office. I want to show you something. And he goes, and I open up all the gun cases with all the magazines loaded with all the fucking hollow points. And I go, listen, I like when you showed me your little gun thing. What I went and did is I bought three guns. So if you ever shoot my mother or I shoot at her, I'm going to shoot you with this gun, the big gun. Then the middle gun, I'm going to shoot her to kill off our bloodline completely. And then the small gun, I'm probably just going to shoot myself and kill myself. So a our sad. hobo DNA will fucking end. <laughs> and he was like, and he's like, oh, 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 oh. and I'm like, give me your fucking gun. And then they made him give me his gun. So this was a plea just to get more guns. Oh, this is, to take, this I took <laughs> his gun away from him. And then this like, is I, a I reverse them. boys in the hood when Larry Fishburne told him, give me yeah. the motherfucking gun train. Yeah. You so I had to take dad. a gun from my dad. And if only Nicole Brown Simpson had a young Dan Bilek and later on to protect her with his weapon. And then right. later on, I uh, gave the gun back and then had to take it away from him when he got suicidal at one point and then towards the end of his life. Like, <laughs> is this the happy ending no. to the Boner City no. you're looking for? Fuck off, dude. No, the best part is... <laughs> the best part. The best part. <laughs> we just dad, wanted to know about your veneers. We, we didn't want to know sorry. how you're going to kill off Get your fuck. bloodline. Get fucked, You're going to end the Bilek well, bloodline You want to know why I get mad? This is why I have fucking anger issues, fuckface. Long story short, my, like... A few years before we my dad really died, want to know, my though. dad got into like his third marriage with his fucking Chinese mail order bride that he stole yeah. from some other dude. At a, at a comedy show, I had some shitty comedy show, like a like some comedy show down in Orange County at some shitty restaurant. He wanted to go to it. He knew what was going on. Of course he did. Well, my dad never took over teeth. In the last 15 years of his life, he literally lived off candy bars, Pepsi, and uh, Cranberry Absolute. That, that's all. He was just drunk. That's all and, you need. That's all, yeah, that's all he needs. So all of his teeth, all of them rotted out. And he was like, it was beyond the point of even dental implants and that thing. And he just <laughs> didn't give a fuck. One day, he got all of his teeth taken out. All of just went to the dentist Aww. and just said, "Give me the fucking, give me the number eight. Just take all my fucking teeth out." That was a Monday. The comedy show was a Friday. My dad shows up at the comedy show, sits in the front row, no fucking teeth. Chinese mail order bride gets to the show forty five minutes early. It is just ordering rounds. It's like some shitty restaurant. Wasted. Heckles everyone in the comedy show, and I'm up towards the end, including so you. So much so, did he no. let him know who he was? Uh, people knew because the guy around the show's like, "Oh, your father's here," and he's like, oh, "He's he's uh, he's not he's uh, just being." I'm like, "I know, fuck off." He he no I'm, like, he fought, I'm like, "I'm like, oh, fuck, nom, he'll fucking kill you. He has no teeth. He has nothing to lose. You go deal with it." <laughs> Johnny LaQuasto, good friend, a funny guy, comic kid that lives up here, goes up, He's a wrestling the, goes up through the show and goes, oh, ex- halfway through the show, goes, oh, excuse me, sir, um, you're being a little distracting. Could you please, my dad, go fuck yourself, as le- top his lungs in the comedy show. My wife still mentions that. Or no, no, my dad says, no, hey, hey, you know what? And, guy, and Johnny goes, what? And he goes, you can kiss my motherfucking ass. Or kiss Jesus. my fucking ass. You know my what? Wife, Your old man and com- Steve O'Neill Neil, would yeah. have been one hell of a team. They could have been a senior citizen. Tag team like, Yeah, senior citizen fucking bank robbery team. <laughs> that would have been fucking great. So that's great. why I have fucking anger issues, Ryan, because I grew up around crazy fucking people that did awful things when I was just trying to but be a good person. You, you take it out on us, Dang, man. Because I see the same <laughs> traits in my crazy dipshit like Dang. bloodline that I see in you guys, but I can't fucking kill you because Dang. that's somebody else's job. Look me in the eyes, You don't want to go after me, Dad. That's all I'm Oh, saying. in that boot while you're weeping. No, no. <laughs> You don't want to bring your guns over to my house, Dan. No, I want... you got your dad's machine gun and throwing knives. I don't want. I don't want we that. Don't have that Dan, I want to have a moment with you. Look me in the eyes. Yes, it's not your fault. Dan. Okay, thank you, Jeff. Hey, He's gonna cry a little. Well, bit. Well, that answer. <laughs> if you want to cry at Boater City, it's fine. That, that answered my question. Like, can we do something other than a trial on Boner City and have it get real weird? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the big. It's the big oh, laugh closer. Go. It's yeah. like the sitcom. <laughs> the 90s sitcom. Oh. So thanks for explaining your veneers, Dan. <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, okay, so let's wrap it up. Uh, please subscribe to us on iTunes. Leave us a five-star rating <laughs> and a, a, a positive review, because if not, I'll threaten to kill your bloodline. Should um, we ask people for money because we're so emotionally damaged? <laughs> <laughs> we might have to pay people that listen to this. Like, I'm scared. so undateable after everything I've revealed on this show. Yeah, for send, sure. yeah send right, dude. Money. Give a titty yeah, shout-out okay. to do a blind So uh, this is another shout-out to Pete. So uh, <laughs> my lady and I were at Pete's uh, doing something. And what, fucking Pete, on his couch? No, Pete was asking her. He's like, you listen to the podcast. And she goes, yeah. And she goes, uh, so does it make you look differently, Adam? She goes, I'm actually more attracted to him after listening. Because it sounds like you have more hair no, on the podcast. No, because when we first started dating, I was super polite, and I'm a super gentleman. I opened the car Oh, you door. mean you're two-faced. And then she you're- goes, I was worried that he didn't. 
he wasn't crazy, but then I saw he's very crazy, and that turned me on a lot because he was super. You're I'm, I'm a super gentleman. So does she want to date me as well? <laughs> <laughs> Seems like she's the only one. Does she want to watch Andrew fuck his wife in a dinosaur? Oh, mask? she probably would. She's allowed to. She's Maybe your wife to. should get a Jar Jar Binks mask. <laughs> <laughs> she had. She used to have a, a raptor mask. Oh, Jesus Jurassic Christ. Park style raptor mask. I'd wear a condom for the blowjob. By the way. <laughs> Are you trying to fucking improve the odds of this happening? You <laughs> this is going to happen in that's 2013. Never, that's never going to happen. Anyway, long story short, we got that new uh, iTunes uh, channel. Subscribe to us on iTunes. Leave us a rating uh, and a five a five star rating and a comment. If you do, email us at info at dorkexplosion .com and we will send you a, five, a ten pack of Boner City stickers and some of these stickers from the Look How Bad I Parked website that you can stick on shitty yeah. parked cars and take pictures and participate in that. And I just want to remind the fans out there to always call to action. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> also, if you, would like see, if you would like to see Ryan in his, in his lovely fucking uh, boot <laughs> perform stand-up, Ryan will be for performing stand-up on Saturday, January 26th at 11 p.m. at the 12 Shiny Nickel Show. If you'd like free tickets, we can hook you up with that. Email us or send us a message. I hope people show Facebook. up because I'm going to be doing mostly Boner City related you are jokes. Not. It'll be just garbage. <laughs> hey, 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 I'm going to be talking about shit that happened on the podcast. Callbacks. No, please don't. Please <laughs> so don't. nobody's there. So people in Louisiana really listen, weird. won't be there. <laughs> okay. Good uh, comedy instincts. Be sure to subscribe us. Be sure... <laughs> I'm a be sure to share, hey, shut the fuck up. Share the if you like this podcast, C -T -A. Except, except the last twenty minutes, the first sixty that were funny. Please share this podcast with your friends and get them to subscribe and blah blah blah. In blah, the blah. description, any other announcements, assholes? Wait, in the description of this episode, will you put the story of my veneers? <laughs> I hate you. Let's just sign out before someone dies in here. Jesus Christ. Okay, you guys, do you have anything to share? <laughs> I wish that we could don't. leave it rolling after we get oh, off here. This God. fucking lashing yeah. is oh, going to get a fucking, yeah, you'll get it, dude. <laughs> All right, until next time, we'll talk to you later. Thanks. Love you. Bye. Bye. Mean it.